There you go. Yep. Okay, so it's six o'clock. Um, I'd like to open up the meeting. Um, I have one adjustment to the uh, agenda as it's written. Um, I'd like us to discuss um, the hiring of um, outside services, um, who decides who, you know, who gets hired, um, and just kind of come up with a, a formal process that everybody can go by. Um, so we'll discuss that. We may not come to an outcome tonight, but we'll at least have a discussion and, and um, see where we go from there. Is there any public comment at all from anyone? Okay, all right. Then I would make a motion that we approve the bills to the town. Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. And then let's see, where did the, uh oh, they're already missing. Uh, let's see, I would make a motion that we approve the minutes to the June 24th um, select board meeting. Second. <laughs> Aye. Okay, so. Um, Let's get them signed to Diana before they get lost. Let me do my glasses again. In the file. So approved. And 7 8 Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do I hold my lottery ticket? <laughs> Me either. And I win. So I told Emily that we would be um, taking up the um, Buck Lake Road um, maintenance at 610, so we're a little early. We could, um, we could just get kind of a general rundown of the, um, what's happening with the town highways. I could talk briefly about um, the VTrans Town Highway Emergency Fund. Um, that should be a fairly short discussion. Um, why don't I start there? Um, so um, we are um, we are going to be awarded from VTrans uh, Town Highway Emergency Grant um, for $150,000. That'll be the limit. That's a 90% 10% match. So a 10% match from the town. Um, and it'll be primarily to fix the uh, landslide on the Cabot Road coming down into the village. Um, if there's money left over, then we can use it um, for some of the um, road damage um, from culverts that couldn't hit. Oh, really? Flow. So okay. They, okay. Yeah. That, that, so that would be for May, um, the May 20th flooding. So we're gonna have to get some. Bid well, we'd have to we'd have to get some. Yeah, we'll have to get some bids. Um, Did they write a scope of work for us? They are still kind of discussing that, I guess. Um, and we and so far we haven't received the, the grant award yet either. Um, okay. It should be coming soon. I talked to Shauna again about it this morning. It you know had to go through the chain of approvals, um, different um, state agencies approving the project. Um, so I imagine that there is. If they're approving a project, there must be some kind of scope Somebody of work. Somebody going to have to go out to bid without a scope of work. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, and I know that the soils people um, and a couple other people did come and look at it. So I'm, you know, I'm hoping that they have developed a scope of work from that. And then yes, it would go out to bid. Um, Shauna has some contractors that she would like to recommend that we contact when we send out the bids. Um, mm -hmm. Just uh, people, companies that she know can handle the handle the work that, that needs to be done there. Um, so we'll wait till this grant comes um, and then go from there on that. But, so it's kind of in process as it was at our last like, board meeting. Um, Do you think that when we start that project we're going to have to close the Cabot Road? I think we're going to have to close the Cabot Road. We yeah. better be careful with that. That ties into our next conversation. It does. Yeah. Yeah, that's part of the concern um, mm -hmm. with the old quarry road. Um, yeah, I mean, um, Greg had gravel construction just come and look at it, yeah. and they were they were suggesting that um, the pavement, the section of pavement where the the bank has slid away, 
will probably need to be cut away um, so that they can, you know, scoop that out and, and build it up again before yeah. they. Um, it should be calm back. Because it's right, it's yeah, it's right, right to the edge. It, yeah. yeah, right to the edge. edge. So, so they basically cut half of the road out, I'm guessing, uh, to the other one? Not half, but at least a third. Yeah, yeah a third. So about something. where the barricades are. Yeah. I would yeah. And I, I can't imagine with a huge crane or excavator Set getting stuff half. down in there that that whole row isn't going to they're, they're they're gonna need the whole row. Yeah. If, if anything else, just for liability and safety issues. So. Yeah. So they're not going to move there either until it's done. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So my guess is that we would have to close that road off. Yeah. yeah. I was figuring the same thing. So if we're going to do that, we better bring in the property owners involved in that who are not happy about that. The are you talking about Cutter right. Road now? Or? Yeah, Quarry Road. Yeah. Yeah, that, that fits into this. When we get a little bit closer to that. Well, I get yeah. them involved sooner because I guess it was a fiasco last time. From what I'm understanding, I wasn't here. You know, I don't understand what happened last time. I, I was newly on the select board and... Um, I don't remember it being... There was no problem. There was still a one-lane road up through there. It just He didn't want people going by his place. Right, but... Yeah. Well, so I was there when... Cabot Road was closed down mm -hmm. the first time. So what they did is they... Old Quarry Road or Cabot Road? Cabot Road. Cabot Road. Cabot Road. So they rehabbed the section of Quarry Road up beyond Rick Barron's house mm -hmm. to make it possible. Mm -hmm. And they did that you know, so people could use that as access mm -hmm. to you know, Cabot Road above where yeah. the issue was. Yeah. And also for public safety too. Yeah. For folks. Fire trucks and everything. Right. Yeah. The road was actually cut off because the culvert was gone. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. So, you know, that happened. It, and, you know, the traffic, you know, going by our house at least, mm -hmm. on the Lake Hill Road, was increased. Mm -hmm. But it only increased to the point where once the culvert was fixed, mm -hmm. you know, then it decreased to the, to the normal amount. Right. Occasionally you would get someone, you know, on a, an ATV or, or a big you know, four by four truck mm -hmm. come screaming through there. Mm -hmm. But uh, that happens now. Right. Mm -hmm. But there was an increase of traffic mm -hmm. only to the point where until the public was the fixed, was yeah. 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 I would assume that it won't be closed completely. It'll okay. be open like okay. evenings and night like morning. Just during the day. So while they're, they're working it be closed. Be closed. Yeah, mm -hmm. you would they don't want to have to do mm -hmm. traffic control up there that all day. Would be my guess. Mm -hmm. They certainly wouldn't want that big trucks going by there when they're down in no, the hole. No, no, no. <laughs> no. Yeah, so I mean, it does seem likely that we'll, we'll need that road on when this work. So what I'm advocating, though, is that you bring him in yeah. and before those decisions are made and have a mm -hmm. conversation, because I don't know what was said and done. He's got claiming representations were made. This I have no idea. Well, uh, but I, how you settle that is we'll yeah. resolve that before that needs to happen because yeah. that's what we would all want. Yeah, no, that's, our we property. should definitely have a he conversation. He honestly feels that it wasn't handled properly. I don't know. I'm not advocating that it was or wasn't. I just Me he, either. He all feels I know that, that way. Right, you heard that, him. That's why I'm here. Just yeah. make sure. That make sure we deal with it properly. <laughs> I, I, yeah. No, I would want to do that. And I, I know when the box culvert was done at Cabot Road, I wasn't on the select board, but I do remember an incident um, when Harry was the uh, road foreman, I'm not sure what happened. There was some heavy rain or flooding, but that's when the uh, the road kind of washed out onto his field. Um, right, which is this gravel out there. And again, hit one of his grievances. It was supposed to be cleaned up. Right, I and don't I know. <laughs> I thought it was cleaned up. Yeah, I don't know. You may not know. You, I don't know if you were here at the time either. Yeah. Yeah, I don't that was know, but that was after the box cover. Yeah. But again, I think yeah. if we get him in here, yeah. if there's grievances, we'll address the grievances yeah. and whatever, yeah. as I said in my email, whatever uh, agreements and representations mm -hmm. are made, we'll put in writing yeah. and all parties will be aware of what's in there. And, mm -hmm. you know, I, and again, I'd, I'd advocate if we don't have to close that capital road completely, and I'm not saying you do or don't, I don't know the answer. That'll be up to the contractors. If, if you picture this yeah. being a road that we don't have a road we could go bypass, we would have to figure out a way to do it without closing the road. So right. I don't know if we can bid this and say, can you do this possibly? I don't know the answer to that. Yeah. 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 If you had a different road in town where you could had no bypass, right. you the problem is there's no other access to the spot. Yeah. So I don't know the you answer. You have to that. build the road down from Jarnis's yeah. or something. Yeah. There's just no way to yeah. do it. I, I, I'm not, no, I just, yeah. when I set 
probably a mini down in there with a crane. Yeah. yeah, the bank on the other you side is pretty, for pretty wet and soft too. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, I would anticipate that we're going to need to have the old quarry road. So I would get him in here sooner than later, like yeah. maybe at our next meeting to mm -hmm. have a mm -hmm. conversation. Do we want to get that soon or do we want to get some contractors lined up and see what they think? Well, well, I think you've got two issues you're dealing yeah, with. One is the potential the need yeah. for the closure of the road mm -hmm. for the Cabot Road project. That's issue one. But you've got the issue where you've been hired to work for Coleman, and apparently there's a disagreement about it. Right. So I think right. that should probably be handled. We can't act on it tonight because it wasn't right. worn, but I think we need to get that in for the next meeting because obviously you'd like to finish your work. Actually, well, uh, that's neither here nor right. me, but, you know, I would like to see Rick me somewhere near happy. Correct, because he's not. You saw how he's unhappy not. he was. Yeah. yeah. When he first come up, he was chewing nails and spitting rust. Yeah. When okay. he came right down, I was backing in from Beaver at a basement fire this morning. Okay, so the old quarry road it. is worn. Okay. It's on our agenda. But I don't think it meant um, his under, he's in Boston, so he would have been here if he needed right. it. It meant they were going to open it back up. Yeah, what my, you know, the reason I warned it is that Greg told me last Friday when we met that Coleman Parker wanted to work on the road okay. um, and that, um, you know, we had been approached about providing a culvert and some gravel. And, you know, Greg and I thought, well, this is, you know, we should discuss that at a select board meeting um, and, um, you know, make a decision about that. And it sounds like you guys got right on to the work before yeah. we got to sit down and talk about it. So, um, so it is on the agenda as far as that. But in light of and recent then, events. Yeah, and then what we need to do is also include um, Rick yeah. in the discussion. Yeah. I mean, I'd advocate just taking a pause and get Rick okay. in here. Yeah. And then he, you know, he can share what his concerns are. And mm -hmm. if he has valid concerns, I think that needs to be addressed as part of right. whatever work. And, you know, with, with Chuck here, I'd like to, you know, have a better understanding of, you know, why the work's being done on the road now so that when we have a conversation yeah. with Rick, we have an understanding of, of you know. And Coleman may need to answer that question, right? You, you know, you're just fixing the road. He <laughs> called me and wanted, said that he was, Rick and his wife had decided not to buy Coleman's land. So now Coleman's thinking he wants to put it up for sale, but he figured he ought to be have a road down in there that was decent enough so somebody could get down there with an SUV right. or something like that. Mm -hmm. And he wanted to know if I wanted to do it. And so yeah. I said, yeah. Why don't we talk about the old quarry road while we're talking sure. about it? Yeah. So that's... Uh, Did you get a curb cut permit from here, so. Greg? A what? Curb cut permit? Or did you authorize... Normally, yeah, just no, they're just working in a row. Okay, a, don't even. Need a <coughs> so, okay. Yeah, I, I mean, it was straightforward. The ditch was all right. there. I right. just had to make it a little bit deeper. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I was already to drop the culvert in when Rick came up the first time. And I said, Ooh. all right. So I <laughs> stopped until Paul and yeah, Rick come back. Out. Gave him, I gave Coleman that culvert last year. Yeah, that's still, I put it back up where he had it. There. Do you know if Coleman talked to Rick about? Not Rick at all. He did not. He did not. Okay. Right. And so Rick's feeling is they're down working on his property where the town road goes through, and he's saying if they need access, why mm -hmm. do they need to work in that area? Mm -hmm. Well, again, I don't want to speak for him because. Right. Yeah. Well, he led me into the th the idea that everything was all set. Yeah. So we well, didn't. Yeah. And you might have thought the same thing because I didn't know. So he was actually on Rick's land, is where you guys were. When we ended up, and and Rick asked me to stop, I was on his well. His land was right on both sides of the road. Right. Yeah. I was still in the road, but right. oh, still I was going to cut a, a swale out into his field. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there is a tremendous amount of gravel There's out there. There's a lot of gravel in that field. And mm -hmm. he, that's when he said that it was supposed to have been taken care of back when Harry was there. And I, yeah, I thought it had and been taken care of, to be honest with you. I look, you see there's a lot out there. Oh, so we hired Chuck to go get that out of there now? Your machine's still up there? Well, it's right in the village. It's right in the be. village. Um, I guess we should see if the road crew could do that mm -hmm. first. But mm -hmm. Again, you should talk to Rick. Yeah, no, we, you know, before yeah. we go on to his property. Yeah, I, think we should, I think we should get Rick mm -hmm. here to right. chat about yes. before we do Yeah, I do too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I mean, if because you want me to go back up after you talk to him, I'd be more glad to. It would mean but. getting off of our right away and going out and right. his field. In his field. Yeah. But yeah. again, if we need to clean it up, I think that's fine as long as right. he's in agreement right. with what that's going to look like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If it needs to be cleaned up, but we got no problem with cleaning it up. Right. It just got forgotten yeah. over the years or whenever. Yeah. I thought. Uh, I thought. Harry got a tip too and didn't write mm -hmm. down. Mm -hmm. He's supposed to. Yeah. Yeah. 
But I, mean, I wasn't around it's for not, any of that, so I, I, it's not yeah, that big a deal. I, I don't that. think it would take three, four hours. You'd <laughs> have it all cleaned up and back up in the road. Right. right. What is the gravel in the road? Ten yards down there, maybe. Maybe. I mean, it looks like a lot. Right, but, but you dig it up, yeah. 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 Okay. Yes, yeah, so that's not a big deal if that's what it takes to mm -hmm. just be get it done. Up, it the truck. <clears throat> Yeah. yeah, yeah, we have plenty of time to resolve this because you yeah. know the work on the cabin road is not going to happen. Maybe he wants some right fill somewhere else. Right. Yeah. We'll level up some of his property or whatever. Uh -huh. we'll move it. Yeah. And again, our, our policy on, on class four road maintenance is to keep it passable. So the, the the state statute on class four roads is that basically the only thing that you have to maintain is um, culverts and bridges. That's the only okay. existing existing. You and then to add, you're not, okay. And then we have different degrees of class four roads. We have some that are totally impassable, and it would cost the town a fortune to fix. Right. I mean, someday we should do a select board class four road walk, and I'll show you some class. Well, four I've got one right past my house. It looks like a gully. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then there are other class four roads where there are a number of families that live on them. They maintain right. the they road. Maintain them Blueberry yeah. Hill. Road is yeah. a good example of that. Um, well, because we may want to just work on that ourselves, because I know this particular road has got a this has been contention from what I can see yes. for yeah. a while now, and we want to make sure we're just doing the yeah. same thing everywhere. Yeah. That if, if there's a policy to provide gravel or culverts, if you do the whoever, mm -hmm. that we're just yeah. doing it equally everywhere. And there, and there are other you know class four roads with the, the you know the concern about who actually does the work on them. Um, there are class four roads, like the, we, there's just a note from the, uh, the camp owners on East Long Pond asking for gravel. They maintain a good section of a class right. four road. Yep. Um, there, there's been a couple calls from uh, different logging contractors to, uh, Greg just met with one today, to fix up some of the West Woodbury roads to make it easier for the logging trucks to move in and out. Sure. Uh, the EV Hyde. Yeah, that, we've seen that before. Yeah. yeah. So, fix it up. so those are things where, yep. great, you know, somebody else is, fixing up the road a little bit for us. It's not costing us anything. Um, yeah, I think we've tried to maintain what we have of class four roads and not lose them. Right. Yeah, because we, they are a resource. We've done pretty well yeah, most over the years. They've gotten deeper gravel. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. And yeah. yeah, most and most of them are, are maintained. I mean, it's not like you're going to drive your Cadillac without no, a take your transmission to, out in some no. places. <laughs> the, the ones that are off. Washed, yeah. you're just demanding way too much money. So right. Yeah. Just don't I mean, like the ho uh, what's called the Ho Chi Minh Trail. That's we I didn't mean, fix the, it's uh, just totally nickel spawner over there. We put quite a bit of money into that last year, and that. that's still fine. Yeah, yeah. the road up by Ricks, we've made sure that it stayed open just because it's a, a road that we need mm -hmm. when the tavern. Yeah, I don't think his objection out. is it to being open. It's just getting it improved. Yeah, I, again, I don't want to speak for him. Yeah, I think you know, and you know. Yeah, I you know the objections that he's, he, he's even willing to fix the little wash at the bottom himself is what he told me. It's just I yeah. think his concern is. I think his you know from what you stated is, is that the town didn't let him know which right. way. And, and that's a very it. reasonable request. Yeah, particularly it is. when it's going right through your driveway and on your property. I think it's a yeah. perfectly reasonable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. in, in in my view, as I said in the email I sent, if yeah. because it's been cloudy. Mm -hmm. of what happened. I think whatever is resolved, we'll right. write it down and all parties will be privy to it. And mm -hmm. We no, will do what we said yeah. in the period of time agreed upon. I mean, yeah. It makes sense to do it. I mean, mm -hmm. That yeah. way there's no issue to say he said, she said, and that's what we're in now. If somebody said, and I don't know right. who said what. Yeah. And I don't think we can figure that out. But mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we'll, let's contact Rick. I, I'm glad to. I don't know if you want to continue well, that or I'm well, glad I can to do if you it. like. Sure. I'm, I mean, Just I have him invite him to the next meeting. Yeah. Because yeah. I think we can talk about this piece of it and then also talk to him about his feelings about if you want to mm -hmm. open that road up to bypass mm -hmm. Cabot Road. And then I'll That's not know. opening it up because it is. No, but it's but already. It would be improved. It's already. Open. Tell him what you're planning to do. That's yeah. all I'm asking. Right. Yeah. yeah. So I think I'll contact him also because I had promised him back. Okay. I was fresh on the select board when. The incident with um, Harry happened, um, and I it was my understanding that the field had been cleared. Um, so I'll just contact him because I had told. Well, him it wasn't, you know, nowhere near as bad as it is now because it just never got fixed. So it just kept washing and washing. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Does that mean that you need to do some ditching right there too? Well, that's what the culvert was going to do. Yeah, that's what the stopped. culvert was going to address. Yeah, yeah. we don't ditch five four roads usually. So right. That's yeah. not anything 
we've been. Right. Yeah. What I wanted to do, when to do. I started digging to put the culvert in above there. I could put in a short ditch. Yeah. I don't know, 20 feet long or so, and then put a couple check dams in it so that I could actually stop the dirt before it Moving. got to the culvert. Yeah. So we plug it. Yeah. But it's like I told Rick and I told Coleman both. Check dams are no good if you don't go back and clean them. Right. So somebody's going to have to be, either he's going to have to go up with his tractor in a bucket or the town's going to have to do it or mm -hmm. something. Yeah. But that would eliminate the problem of the dirt in the field for, mm -hmm. for the most part. I mean, yeah. you'd still get some. But. Mm -hmm. No place else for it to go? No. Oh. There, there is no place right there. I was digging right well, in the ledge. That whole side. The road actually needs to go like this. It does. So it goes off. But the then right. there's no place for it to go until you get right down to his driveway. Right. And that's going to cross the road going to his pond. Well, there's a couple big cutouts over there. You can get most of it off. There is. If it, if it was ditched out. Yeah. Yeah. They're all right. full. Right. So maybe once we get started on this, after we get We should go up and look at it. Yeah, no. Yeah, so maybe it is a good check. Yeah. With all the problems. Get a site yeah, visit. We'll about it. Yeah. Yeah, kind of. I just like to include everybody who's involved. That's no, all. No, I agree. So, yeah. No, he said, she said. Right. Yeah, well, that's the biggest reason I'm here tonight is to make sure, because I talked to Colin tonight, and I had point blank asked him if he got to talk to Rick, and he said no, and he led me to believe last week that he had. And that was, that was the issue the earlier time um, when Rick got really upset is that it was somebody said that, Somebody said something, and somebody said that no, they didn't say that. And, and uh, no, so the way to resolve it is good agreements was, in writing. Was that was who's property? He owned both sides right there. Yeah, he yeah, owned both sides. Yeah. Yeah. And then it goes up those comments. I think there's a prop, a piece past his on the other side of Coleman's that someone else owns that. Uh -huh. Up above yeah, on the above, yeah. yeah on the left, yeah. yeah we there's a woman up there that said he owns homes. all the way up in there, a few hundred feet on both mm -hmm. sides of the road. Okay. Right. 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 Yeah. So we'll, we'll get Rick involved in this and, um, and we'll figure it out. Perfect. We'll have to find, you know, obviously we'll find some place for water to go where it's going to keep right. going. No, exactly. We'll find yeah. its own. Yeah. Well, like I say, I think with, if, if there were some check dams put in up by that culvert and they were maintained, mm -hmm. it would stop a lot mm -hmm. of that. But like I say, if they fill up the sand, right. they'll just run over. They'll again. run over the top and the sand will go with it. We'll work it out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Take a look at. So you'll talk to Rick, yeah. and I'll talk to Rick. We'll yeah. Tell him we'll we'll him to the next yeah. Week. Yeah. And you guys, okay with? I mean, let's just wait until we. Oh, it's fine with me. Yeah. <laughs> so we should probably get Coleman involved in this too. Um, now and um, just maybe get a. Maybe I'll try to contact him too and get a better understanding sure. of what. Sounds like he just wants to have that road drivable so that he can sell yeah he wasn't property. looking to to really upgrade it a lot he just wanted right. the, the yeah. rut the big ruts filled in and I put in I don't know 10 or 12 water bars because mm -hmm. there was no right. everywhere I could get through the stone wall a little bit where I could get the water off the road and put a water bar in but yeah. uh, nothing big it, it just you can still go through them with a SUV like your Honda or something yeah. like mm -hmm. that. But we probably want to talk to them about what changes we're going to need to be made if and when we have to close it for the Cabot Road project. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll talk to Rick about that. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else about that? that was it. Okay. That was my morning. Okay. <laughs> Mine too. <laughs> I skipped you. Put out a basement, put out a roof. Okay. <laughs> you want a road <laughs> yeah. All right. So, um, Michael, we'll do, do you think that will be at the next board meeting? Um, I hope so. Yes. Well, Rick can be here. I didn't. I knew he was headed to Boston. Yeah, he had. Yes. I don't know what his schedule. I imagine summers he might be busy just with his music too. Yeah, so yeah, I yeah, we'll, we'll see. Him. If if um, if he isn't able to make it, then maybe um, we could just have um, you know have a good sense of what he would like, and maybe there's a time. Um, that we could meet on his schedule uh, with the parties involved. We could it could be a special. Yeah, you know, so tough thing. Yeah. I just like to get yeah. resolved and always angry about it. Just like to resolve what has yeah. to be done to make yeah. the parties happy, and if it can be done that way, and yeah. just resolve it and be done with it. Yeah. Let yeah. the past be the past, and yeah. move on. Move on. Maybe a site visit. Yeah, site, site visit, visit might be better because because then everything's right there. Yeah. Right. 
Yeah. And there's more room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, because he could share what his concerns are, too. That's yeah. what we're saying. You could do a scope of work right yeah. there. Right. You could write it right on a piece of paper and have sure. everybody agree to it, type yep. it out. Yep. Yep. This is what we all agree on. Mm -hmm. This is the time so, frame we agree on. Let's shoot for that. We'll get. We'll see what his schedule is. Um, and um, Coleman's pretty much. His time is pretty. No open. idea. No idea. Okay. <laughs> I haven't seen Coleman in years. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. you're you're I around had, until the snow flies, right? Yeah, until snow flies. I don't know yeah. that I need to so be there. I, 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 the only reason I come tonight is I wanted to make sure that you guys are addressing the problem with Rick. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, so we it, should try to. That would be up to you. I, I can come or not. The map. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, you would be doing the work, so we'll let you know when it. Okay. When it happens, and if you can. Um, Especially a site visit, because you could actually show us what. You, right. What you're going to do. Yeah. 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 I'd be more glad. That'd be a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, well. Thank you, Chuck. I'm gonna bug out. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, Chuck. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. See you later, Chuck. Have a good night. You as well. Um, yes. So let's um, just kind of do a general town highway thing. We'll kind of bring us up to date on what's going on. I know um, that piece of equipment that you were talking about, right, Paul? That seems kind of interesting. And, and I don't know if you got to look at it yet. I sent an email about a suggested piece of equipment that we might buy to help. Recover the gravel in the yeah. ditches. Probably have it. It's on the it's on the computer. It's on your computer. Yeah, yeah. It must have came, it came later home. today. Yeah. yeah, it must have been after three thirty. Yeah. So I think it's to so take a look at it. This is the same. You know, another piece of equipment. It could go on the grader. It looks like it could go on or one, one of the, the plow trucks. trucks. Um, and it um, it chews up the berm on the side, kind of spits it into the road. You know, I think just like with the mower, we should find out. If somebody is using this, I did ask that. There's nobody in New England using it. It's commonly used product in the Midwest. You know, from the video, all the roads were straight and flat. Understood. So. That's that's <laughs> yeah. the yeah. The, but I, I talked to this guy. They have a lot of roads that are like ours in the mountains mm -hmm. of Montana and Colorado okay. that they use this on because it, it, what it does do is chops that crap up so that you what, what the road guy I talked to said they can chew it up in a couple passes if it's a been hasn't been done in a while. And it will spread it out and then it dries and you come back the next day or two and just grade it into the row. Then the grassy stuff will just dust away and all the mm -hmm. tufts of grass are gone. Because otherwise you've got to grade it in, scoop it up and haul it off. Or you've got to uh, grade it back and forth and back and forth and back and forth trying to bust those things up. Mm -hmm. um, but go, go look on your uh, yeah, email. I will. There's a yeah, video the you video can see. To watch. I mean, I understand it's I mean, not, it's not gonna work. like it would work, but it doesn't look, to me, it doesn't look rugged enough. Oh, it's a rugged beast. Go watch the video. Yeah. It's basically a disc. There's guys disc on there that have been using them for 15 years. Yeah, it's disc arrow. It's basically yeah. a disc arrow, yeah. yeah. But so, I, I included the video in the email I sent, so when you get to look at it, just take a look at it. Yeah, so we'll, you yeah, know, we'll see. We'll research it and... Um, because I know we're looking at this mulching head too, and right. I'm saying if we're going to go borrow money to do that, we we could see with the combined costs if we can if we could sneak it in and if the two you know over time if we could apply what we use for the mowing mower rental the tractor and the mower, right. um, then we wouldn't have to add it to the budget. Yeah, because the big um, thing here is it would save a tremendous amount of time. Just yeah. with the road people that are using it say they can recover those ditches in you hours instead of ditching days, it. right? Yeah. You know, it's covering out there three or it's four. It's also on, yeah. on the front of the screen. It's not well, a wing you can, attached. Yeah, yeah there's, there's three ball. different styles. There's a wing style. There's a, if we had a front lift on the grader, mm -hmm. you could use it that way. Or they have a three-point hitch tractor mount one. Yeah. But it yeah. takes 100 horsepower. Hooks to the wing yeah. plow settings on the... Uh, yeah, there's no lift in front of the grader. Right, we could have used no, no front plow. Yeah, yeah. No. yeah the only thing is I, I uh, pulled the Grizz over the other day and asked him what kind of wing setup they had on the grader. He said hydraulic. So it was so, way behind it. Yep, yep. yep. It's way on the back. In the video, there's a picture of exactly what you have. Uh, how you so we'll, we'll just kind of something to look into. Um, and then we'll, I, I hope to um, maybe this week um, talk to Brandy and to see if this financing idea will actually... Yeah, because I think a it's a good of, idea. A lot of ledge and a lot of big rock in Woodbury. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it's, <laughs> it's, it's like, it's like anything. It's like anything, though. It's like nothing you buy 
mulching head, these things are going to work every space. Mm -hmm. But yeah. if it works for a lot of the spaces, it will cut your time. Yeah. 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 So, well, that would be a thing we'd want to do too, is go on and assess where it would actually would work, because I don't see a lot of places that that would work, but maybe. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. There obviously are some. This is oh, you, yeah, you can know it. I have. How big a ditch does it need to have? Okay. Oh, it really is not digging the ditch. It just has to lay in that yeah, couple. You can we lay have back. Yeah, you just let you, yeah, you tip it back, and then it goes out there three or four feet. Just it grabs that stuff that's laying in your four slope and just pulls it out. Yeah, when, when you get right a chance. Where the berm is. Yeah. There is a video. There's a video I see. Yeah. It basically yeah. kind of. It's at an angle, forty, roughly forty-five degrees, and it well, kind of rises. Well, I think it's movable. Yeah, yeah, so it's adjustable. Yeah, yeah. Okay. and the speed is adjustable. Rises Obviously, you can go slower with the rocks, you know, wherever, and then it just kind of chops up and pulls into the. It's just into, looking for a way to help yeah. get yeah. that burn removal faster, where you can get yeah. it. It's like there. a disc well, and not have to throw all the yeah. material away. Right. Normally, that's done by now. A lot of it, but we just haven't had the time. It's been yeah. one of them. Yeah, yeah. Just, just fi finally getting to the to the summer work. Right. So do you get into that type of stuff. do you want to kind of share what you guys have been up to and? Um, um yeah. Mm -hmm. Where do you want to start? Last week. Uh, sure. Yeah. Or since the last select board meeting, or, right? Which was June 20th. Well, I was on vacation. That's right, you were on vacation. Well, so we would start there if you want. <coughs> was it a good vacation? <laughs> someplace good. No. <laughs> no, didn't go anywhere. Uh, apparently, Monday, Timmy hauled six loads of sand. Uh, it's be graded and fixed Blake Hill. Probably the little quarter would be my guess. But Lake. It that was like one of the time. Graded. Jarnus's, the Cabot Road, Valley Lake, Wheeler Hill. That was Monday. Cabot Road, would that have been all the way to the line or just the top of the hill and back, or do you know? Uh, I'm not sure, he didn't write it down. Well, I would say probably up to the top of the hill. The rest of the road, I think, is pretty good out through there. I think, actually, he did go out and he fixed up by Hugo's. So went out to East Lawn Road. Right. Mm -hmm. Lawn road. Yeah. Yeah, north road. I think he did. North Road, didn't it? Yeah. And then uh, Tuesday, they seeded some of what we had dug before. Cranberry Meadow, it was just so wet and rainy, we never got a chance to see it and stuff, it was just going to wash away. And they checked and cleaned some of the culverts up there. Must be Timmy Hall 10 loads of sand. Uh, we did some of the county roads, Scribner Road, Logtown, the Bliss Road extension. It's where the people have the roads up on top of the hill, you know, Connors. Terry Connor's mother. Oh, really? Okay. That's Bliss Road extension. Yeah. Oh, and you go to the left. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. That washes up through there, too. Wilbur Road. Washouts on East Hill at the ledges. Touch the wheel. Oh, that looks. To me, didn't work Wednesday. Um, they fixed the Buck Lake Road out to the camp and they put a load of three quarter on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Three. So, yeah, that's I so they've been out that road and back. Well, so the, the, the first two, I um, I had gotten a call from Fish and Wildlife mm -hmm. that um, they couldn't uh, food truck couldn't make it in, um, and so I, I called or uh, actually stopped at the shop a little bit yeah. before you you stopped by on that yeah. Monday, um, and I had been up there um, and the ditch on the f the lower hill where just before the bend where it changes from class four to yeah. class three. Um, the ditch had taken the water, but the road took a hit. So, and that's that's where when I told Greg that you know to get the road we needed to be graded on Buck Lake Road that we got in the call, and he thought it was that section of road. So oh. he he graded that, and then at the turnaround he yeah. came back. He didn't um, go to class four. He didn't, he didn't go up the, the to the next hill. Yeah. Um, so I let him know that you know the that hill that section needed to be done too. Did um, you go up there and look at that? Not since he's graded it, but no, by me moving before he did. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. that bad to start with. It wasn't that bad, <laughs> no, but, um, but so he went back on Wednesday to fix the other part. Yeah, yeah. dropped so. a load of gravel on it, yeah. smoothed it out, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's the kind of 
gets a lot of traffic up there. It does. In and summer you know, camp season. That's Woodbury's, you know, that a lot of people who don't live in town, that's what they see of Woodbury's, Woodbury's little jam, yeah. Going into that camp. Mm -hmm. So it, it, yeah, it should be it's good to It's all we really maintain up there is just the hill, right? Yeah. The they they maintain it from the um, the from the Bagley's, you know, that big yeah. rock. They the Fish and Wildlife maintains it down to the channel. Yeah. So over the years we there's a low spot there to that big rock. We've given them two or yep. three loads or whatever right. gravel through there mostly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some on the hill, but not too bad. The hill usually stays pretty good. Yeah. yeah. You smooth it out for them too, or they? Yeah. yeah. Once, yeah. It, once the camp starts. Yeah. Right. yeah. And we usually have it ready for camp. Yeah. School wet, schools out, or whatever. And they had graded it before. Them. This was that heavy rain where we got the three inches of rain in yeah. about three hours. Did, did a number on the road. Did it again. As a number of other words. Over and over and over and over. <laughs> so we got Thursday of that week. They did two, did two culvert washouts, fixed them. And they dug out Kenny King's culvert up there and flushed that. Uh, they graded East Hill up to the intersection, uh, Town Farm Road and the Upper Cabot Road. So they did uh, the Upper and Chloride as well. Yeah, I was up through there one day after they graded, and it was just wicked dusty. I don't know, maybe they, you were up through yeah, there Yeah, they didn't, they didn't. Uh, right that was that. while Greg was on chloride vacation, yeah. Route. That was mm -hmm. the, the hill section. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they didn't get to, that was, get the chloride to, it rained the next day. Yeah, if they don't rain coming, I mean, I'm just let it, let especially it. the fresh, yeah. a fresh grade, because it turned right to slime. I mean, it gains like ice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So, if they knew rain was coming, they may not. Yeah, I see it had been freshly graded, but it was just a wicked dust storm. It doesn't, well, it doesn't pack down. <laughs> yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. And that's not good. That's why you chloride. Yeah, yeah. 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 your finds all the leaves and all the flames in the woods. Yeah. Uh, Friday, the trees. <laughs> Friday, Friday, they're in the back of cars. <laughs> yeah. Friday looks like they did some vehicle maintenance, whatever, and they must have greased stuff. Yeah. Uh, the first. Uh, we finished, didn't finish, but we ditched and sewn some more up on Scribner Hill, took the 550 to Donas, and Greg was gone, I think, so. Um, Scribner, we did stone some more cutouts, then they cleaned up the apron with the loader, a lot of the rocks and sand and stuff scraped up what they could with the loader. Yeah. Berms and stuff. And Peter did the apron, they did a few of the berms. This was all with a loader while we were up on Scribner. And Tibbetts Hill up at the top. And Cranberry Meadow, one of the big ledges slid down into the road. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Well. He cleaned huh. that all up too. Huh. And they graded, it must be graded, graded West Woodbury around Greenwood. Blake Hill and the old quarry and Tibbetts. Upper lower, I'm not sure of it. <laughs> More stone on Scribner. All the four loads of three quarter. We graded um, King Pond, Charity, Scribner, Chloride, and it all. Welded in a grader to it with the, the Carbide teeth in the grader have holders, and once in a while they break out of the out of the bar. Yeah. So they have to be. We have replacements that have to be welded back. Okay. So we did that. Grease on the trucks. Fourth of July. We went, the Friday went and checked all the roads and all that stuff. Grizz wasn't there. Um, I sent Timmy to. Bickford's to get a load of gravel. And they were they're closed. The radio was closed. <laughs> so I said, well, <laughs> yep. go to Fry's to get some of their clothes. I said, no sense sending them on. I said, just come on. on. <laughs> yeah. So we had a nice ride anyway. <laughs> and today I haven't talked to the guys and seen what they were. Uh, you were mulling. Yeah, they were. We've got a bunch of places that need gravel. 
So Greg was going out of the grader and rough stuff up, and Timmy was hauling gravel. Mm -hmm. I got interrupted first thing. I never saw him up to that. So I, don't know. Yeah. I assume mm -hmm. they had some of it done anyway. Yeah. I so, had Peter take the first one. Timmy had dropped it at the firehouse, and you know Greg's up there with the road all tore apart. So <laughs> just and I always had to get the mower. I dropped Peter out and had him go up and get rid of that one at least. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, I haven't talked to him to see what happened out there. I had to meet with the forest over here. That was only a minute. So at this point the Scribner Road has been all all ditched? Yeah, I gotta much. get one more load of stone mm -hmm. yeah. and and it's done when we can get out of there. Yeah. It's yeah. just been such a slow process. And, yeah. and Cranberry Meadow Road is, is yeah. and, Good chunk of that has been ditched also. Right. Yeah. And, but still should get back there too at some point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. I don't know. <laughs> as far as get the mower this week. <laughs> as far as ditching goes, how do you how much ditching have you done to your wow. you want to see some? <laughs> <laughs> do you have pictures of it? I do. Yeah. <laughs> our new iPad is a before and after thing, so. Are you an expert on it yet? No. Won't be either ever. <laughs> you want to come run it? <laughs> yeah. No, I, I, I've no. seen this. Uh, you see the of them? Yeah. Whoops. I went when I first got it going around and, and uh, just took pictures of everything in the garage. Yep. Yeah. So these are some of those. Just what was in the garage. This is Scribner when we started. It had washed quite a bit down further. This is the upper part. And, and was quite a bit of that wash out from the rain that we got on May yeah, 20th? Yeah, just pouring out of one driveway and everybody's yeah. driveway. Yeah, the driveway the driveways the worst are, thing. Yeah, the driveways seem to be causing... But anyways, that's part of it was stone. Yeah, because of bad culverts it's in the driveways? The or just well, the some of the culverts were plugged. This so is up there, but just um, um, you know, nickels to turn around. Yeah, a lot of water, water running down, down the drive. So that's where you back the trucks in. Yeah. yeah, and then you know, so much water in there. The, the ditches really side of the road is it taking it, but it then it this starts This is where we started so the second time mm -hmm. around. Yeah, and we had to deal with the brush and all that. Yeah, that was from an agreement last fall to fix that area. Right. Yeah. I spread out the first load and the loaders, so I got two more loads. They let and us cut some trees so Harvard yeah. would plow that road. Sure, yeah, sure. yeah, and that's how I left it because yeah. it was just, it was still too wet. mushy, yeah. 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 So those, they should be happy. Yeah, I haven't now. heard from them, we but they should be, yeah. Now is Harvard graded up that way so they can buzz in and smooth no, it it's, no, it's actually ours. That's yeah. ours. Yeah. Um, they plow they that section, though. No. They, yeah, they plow, in the winter they plow it. They agreed to plow they, yeah. it plow no. for us. There's a, a, a resident that lives. Do you know where? Where that sort of turns off of Harvard's Road to go to Eagle Lead, uh, to the Nichols Pond. Yeah. If, if you look down that straightaway, the town line is right at the very right end. Right at the very end of it. Yeah. So yeah. from there, around the corner and out through, that's all our rest. The trailer on the left is and in we Woodbury. Both, it's in Woodbury, yeah. We both kind of swap grading. When I start grading, we start right at the intersection with their road and go all the way. Yeah. And they do wires out through to this turn around and then they go yeah. back. So we need you know, need to keep it open for plowing. We put a town line uh, marker up there but it didn't last very long, I'm not sure. They sold, sold like about like two different signs. They yeah. Sold. Yeah. This was up in West Woodbury where it washed. Just showing some of the wash here. This oh, is yeah. where it washed the road and this is the you know Cape Road. So what had happened, this culvert up here, it's a big one, it's a two-footer. It was about an 18-inch rock, round, that went right down through the culvert, and in the process, the water came into the road. Yeah. <laughs> but oh, it peeped out the other end, so it wasn't plugged. Got it. <laughs> it was kind of weird to see it bigger than a football, a uh, basketball rock. And that's what's happened a lot, you know, the brooks that run through culvert, county road, same thing, you know. Yeah, yeah. The water's been, been so high, stuff. it just yep. brings a lot yep. of Forest Sticks debris, and, yep, oh yeah, yeah, and then gets packed in there front of the right, here. right. Packed in front of the culvert, and then before you know it. So gone. this is after. This is looking down where the wash was there. Yeah. So, and that's the other one below. How do we get back? <laughs> no, no. 
How do I back up? No, no. Help! Right there, help you! I zoomed in and I want to back out. Just and you just squeeze go, it. Yep. Oh, the, no? No. There yep. you go, you squeeze it that way. <laughs> yeah, so this is after we were done. Yeah. I put a, a load of the foot minus rock in it, then yeah. a five inch minus, and then grab it. And so it turned out good. Still, I look good today. That was that. This is Scribner again, where we left off before coming down through. This is the basically the driveway on the bottom, I think. No, it's before that. That big culvert goes really fast right there. And these culverts plugged and kept going the spring, but it all stayed in the ditch. Mm -hmm. It just kept going this way, and it really eroded some. That's yeah, yeah. 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 nice. It works out nice. I can use it more and more and more. And yeah. just, it, sometimes it's hard to carry around the truck yeah. and all that. But yeah. Especially yeah, for really grants, nice. yeah. it just it takes wicked good pictures. Then you download that something, or there's just enough memory to leave it on there? No, oh, there should be enough on it, but I yeah. download it to my yeah. laptop and yeah. put it on the cloud or something so it's yeah. there. Oh, I thought about getting a flash drive and just plug it in. Yeah. Cool. That's in the future. We'll get plenty of room now. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it works very really really good. It was a good buy. Mm -hmm. It was a good deal. We should have had it before. Yeah. yeah, it'll be a good tool just to document the damage. Yeah. Um, Grizz has quite a bit of, before the iPad, but by, he, his phone has quite a bit quite of Quite a few of, pictures. The May 20th and the <coughs> April, April yeah. 20th. Has he downloaded load, them somewhere? Yes. Yeah, he's They're gone. Are they gone? gone? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Something happened to his phone. I don't know. He told me what it was. I can't oh. remember. Okay. From here on in, I guess. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's why you want this thing. So it's yeah. not, not <laughs> at the whim of yeah. right. nobody's phone falling in the sink or something. Yeah. But it's all set up with the email, too. So I can, you know, send them right to the email now, yeah. too. So everybody can have Because yeah. it's got the same. When I'm at the garage, it'll, and it locks into the mm -hmm. email at the garage. So. Yeah. So a couple of weeks ago, um, the Regional Planning Commission did the monitoring of um, Cabot Road. Um, and... Um, didn't fare very well with it. Apparently got graded. <laughs> it got graded. I guess that happens. <laughs> time time. No, you never call. Usually they call. Let you yeah. know. I yeah. should yeah. I guess, yeah, I should have probably let you guys know. <laughs> well, that's all right. Yeah. I looked at the data. What, was, yeah. what there was for that. There wasn't a lot of speeding on that There data. wasn't a lot of speeding. There was... Um, Percentage, there was, you know, a fair percentage, uh, for, you know, like between 35 and 40. Yeah. Um, the bulk of it was at 30 to 35, and then there were like one or two that were Some just random totally, totally weird open. hours, too. Yeah, I noticed. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. So, yeah, it wasn't. The majority of them weren't speeding. Yeah. Saying. Yeah. That's kind of what I figured. Yeah. It's not a great road for speeding unless you're going downhill and then you're going to crash. Right. And, you yeah. know, actually, I think I'm, one of the directions, I can't remember whether it was uphill or downhill, were. I think most of the higher percentage in the 35, 40 mile per hour bracket were people coming into the village. I'll have to look again, but I did coming notice down that the hill? One, yeah. one direction of traffic was... I guess I didn't notice that they had different yeah. directions, huh? Yeah. yeah, there's a southbound, northbound, um, yeah. or east-west, I think, for that road. But. Yeah, and that's usually, I remember the Sand Hill, the Washington County Sheriff sort of mentioning that, you know, you're walking on the road and somebody goes by at the speed limit. You know, it, 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 it seems fast. It seems Believe fast. me, you are here if they go by yeah. more than 30 yeah. when you're standing on Route 40. You know, we may be going 15 miles an hour in our trucks if the fans on and all that and it's blaring. You know, they think yeah. it's a race. We're racing We're down the road. road. You know? yeah. Yeah. So yeah. thing with fire trucks, if the red lights are on there, you're speeding like lightning down <laughs> the highway. When I look down, I've got a speedometer on my side. It says yeah. open 35. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll probably try to share that and maybe in a phone conversation with uh, the Richardsons. And, yeah. Um, They're just in send them the, the Yeah, I can send them the, the results just so they can look at them also. I didn't, I didn't look at the other two. I think one is um, weight of vehicles. Oh, and, track that. Yeah. yeah and um, the other is, I think, the number of accidents. Certain time frames, you could tell it was probably the probably big trucks, you know, just from the time of day. Yeah. And there was more traffic at the certain peak mm -hmm. times, which was yeah. 10 in the morning and 5 in the morning, and mm -hmm. you know, when they're mm -hmm. coming and going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
so um, yeah, it wasn't bad. I was expecting worse. Yeah. 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 It's usually, you know, when you're supposed to be at work at seven, they leave it five minutes out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's when gets away on yeah, the area. It is getting to work, Houston, that people are. <laughs> well, people are yeah. down. Like we we're on the county road, the paved end, way down by Martin Road, at a, a house fire today. Yeah. I open the door to the engine. I'm step over the yellow line, trying to get my pack straps on, and the lady drives right. Almost takes the door off. I mean, I'm standing in the middle of the road. Mm -hmm. I had to yell at it. I said, what are you doing? Well, I have to get to Montpelier. I said, you can get to Montpelier after I step out of the road, shut the door. Yeah. There's no place to park trucks off the road. Mm -hmm. they, they almost ran us over. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's every day for us. Yeah. Every day. Every day. We are out on the road. If you step out of the ground and people are putting on our truck, man, you better be looking. You better be looking. Right there. Because right there. Yeah. that's why a lot of times I'll just pull the truck across the road because we can't wear our traffic vests under our fire gear because it'll burn. So we're, I'd take them off. So we're in the road without our traffic vests. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't matter. It don't matter. They'll just run you Sign, down. Signs don't. It don't matter. Because they'll go past our stop slow signs out here, and they'll speed right up to 50 miles an hour through your scene. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You emphasize that with your rookies per se a oh, lot. Yeah, absolutely. Work on them it's every day. Me, I say they're trying to kill you every watching. minute. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. it. It is. it is absolutely crazy. Yeah. Yeah, good. That's a good thing to try to absolutely pound into their heads. It's, it's dangerous. Look. Yeah. They even you know, you can see on a blacktop and this and that, but back roads are right. just as bad. Especially when you bad, yeah. grade it up and give them ice, man. It's bad. Yeah, yeah, they want to haul. <laughs> yeah. I mean, literally. I've seen them. They had to be 40, 50 miles an yep. hour on the county road. Yeah. It was yeah. scary flying on your side. Mm -hmm. Corners are right down the middle. Greenwood Lake Road is terrible that way. Though. Those corners that are sharp, instead of slowing down and tucking in, they just drive right down the middle. Yeah. 35 yeah. miles an hour. You won't get over it all. Mm -hmm. it's, it's wild. And we started doing guardrails a number of years ago. Is there anything that you would recommend at this point in time? Or are we all good with everything we've done? Or? Where was I thinking should have guardrails brought in? Hmm. So we get that one repair by the annex. Yeah, yeah, there's a few there or something. There's that there's one just a repair. Some place it was here. Yeah. I saw one today, but it's in Callis. It's not yours. They, on the back side of Foster Hill, they've cleared all the trees on one of those banks. And oh my word, you go down there, if someone went off that bank, they're going to be in the pond. Uh -huh. yeah. There's no trees. So I'm going to go talk to their board and say, yeah. might just say some think about it. Yeah. Because I, 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 we haven't done any since no, I was on the board the last time. No, we so. haven't. I would like to look into that mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. see if you can think of anything, some short stretches or whatever. Cause there was something I was thinking of the other day. We went by and boy, there ought to be a very good right? Just can't. I, w I will. I'll remember yeah. what I'm doing right now. Yeah. Do, you, do you remember? I mean, I, I remember Harry mentioning there was some kind of like a survey or an inventory of spots that needed, because that's what he was sort of going by with the different. Oh, really? Members. You had an inventory done? Well, or that's something what or? I thought. Um, and, and I've contacted the Regional Planning Commission, I contacted VTRANS, and nobody knows where... I've never seen anything right now. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so maybe it was just... I think it was just um, yeah, maybe it just where he had thought of places and wrote yeah. them down. Yeah. And yeah. He might have got some suggestions from other people, you know, yeah. company or something too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, talk to the boys though and stuff, and like I said, when you're riding around, think about it, just write it down a place, mm -hmm. and we can go look mm -hmm. and see, and maybe we can... Yeah. Find yeah. a grant to put in some guardrails and some bad spots. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Those those grants are pretty readily available. You may get on the list for a little while. Yeah. yeah. I, there was a place, and I can't think of it. Yeah, <laughs> it'll come to you soon, <laughs> 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 What about the speed warning signs? When do those get dumped? Oh, uh, you mean downloaded? Downloaded, yeah. Any yes. Time? Yes. We're so skipped. We if you will. <laughs> yeah, I mean, talk put, to put your traffic vest on and park yeah, talk your car between talk your Talk to because he, you know, he, he said he knew how to. He knew how. He knows how to do it. It's pretty easy. The signs. Right? Yeah. To download the data. All the instructions and all that's the operation manager to grow. Yeah, it's nice to get that information. Was, was it yeah. ever? They probably never been. Was that ever, ever never initiated? Been. Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah, I, don't know. I think it was initiated. I think when they the crew set it up that they they started. Yeah. But I don't. Yeah. I'm just. I never heard that it was. I don't. I don't know. So that's, that's something you maybe drop off that info down here for Laura, and it's something maybe Laura can do. You got to take a laptop. You got to give her a traffic vest, so. 
<laughs> Got a traffic vest, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Need a fancy Come. class two traffic yeah. vest. Then she, she can show you how to do it on that. Oh, yeah. I don't want to do it. <laughs> I told you that before. I'll probably break it. I can't run that. But yeah, that's, that has been out there for a few years now. It would be nice to get it downloaded and see it. I don't think it was ever initiated. Uh, I don't. Maybe there is something. I don't know. I don't know. Skip, I don't Skip would be able to. Have to he would know. Yeah, you can see talk to Skip. Yeah. Yeah. He, yeah. he oversaw that whole project, so he, if it was or wasn't, he would, he would know yeah. for sure. Maybe there was actually a tablet that came with it. Or do you think it wasn't a tablet? It, wasn't. It, was, okay. it was just a laptop accessible. Yeah. You just walked up and there's, there's I the think right program to get in. My thinking is there's some kind of code that you <coughs> send it in it and it gives you the information. But yeah. I, I'm cool to send it. I've got all that stuff that's drawn. We'll yeah. Look at it. Yeah. Yeah. So the other thing on our agenda is the village paving. Uh, um, I want to do one more road thing. I was going okay. to ask when um, I had mentioned, and thank you for coming over and doing. Uh, Greenwood, that corner, he went over and, and when they notched out whatever he did with the dishes, that last right. belly washer didn't wash that out. So whatever Grizz did, give him a thumbs up. It was a good job. Yeah, we need to get back over there. But I just, I'd asked about doing that section of ours. It hasn't been done for quite a while. And it's pretty darn bumpy. Yeah. I don't know when. Basically, that whole strip from our end right through to you get to Hubby Road is really bad. The culverts are full. The ditches. Are That's where we we're supposed to stand. I know. <laughs> my question, I'm not pushing. Just my question. When, when might we? I'm, like There's I two, said, they've got reasons. one more load okay. on Scribner. I'd like to get that done. And we're headed back by Cranberry Meadow, and we got a real bad spot around BJ. Yep. Right. That needs to be really, for years, it's been a problem. Nothing's ever been done. It really should so be that's more than grading. Out. That's a that's project. ditching and culverts. And yeah. Yeah, we've got two, two culverts coming I mean, up. And that's priority-wise. Greenwood, you know, County Road is a higher volume. I don't know what everybody's going to go, but I'd like to get Scribner done first. And mm -hmm. where you go there. wherever from there. Mm -hmm. right. The County Road's just a real mess. That's why I'm asking about. Is, uh, we, I think we need to get on that. Or maybe it's fish. every year the County Road. Right. But so I know there's a couple of three there. buried culverts. If we could get a lot of that, the berms off it, we'd have probably help with some of that. Because like I just yeah. said, that one, that, well, that one rainstorm where he. You know, this last one really rained hard. Was it the Friday? Was that it was that Thursday afternoon. Just, just last week, though, right after Grizz did the work, uh, that road didn't wash oh, out, the, so he flinged a lot of the side cutouts out, and he got rid of a lot of that water. So my thought process see, being... We see, that road, we tried to, from Poplar Road, try to yep. go just like this to get it all to Lords, and then down in the yep. corner, go just like this around the other way and bring it back to the lake. Right. You know, it's not... Because right, right there, the when, when, you, turn, water when you, know. you turn toward my house, there's a little dip and there's a berm there. And what was frustrating, and that's what got approached by one of the neighbors, he backed the grader right into those potholes and didn't grade them. And that's the kind of stuff that just irritates people. That goes on all day. Every no, day I turn around. You know? <laughs> you I, I like that that forever. That's why I'm asking, because then yeah, I can um, tell people, are we going to get to it? Or, we okay. will. We will. And well, maybe after you. Maybe finish. he's holding off and no one we're going to be over there and tear it all up anyway. So. Um, I can put him over there and run down through. Yeah. We know we got the problem here with the rocks, you know, with that. What well, brook's coming down? That's every year. That's ditched every year. Yeah. All the way down through there. And the real problem, the real problem, which I, I don't know how it can be solved and maybe it can't be. The real problem is the water comes all the way from your house to one culvert around that. Right, corner. there's a big, and those culverts are actually two. high. It's too far for that water to yeah. travel, but there's just no way to get it. There's no of place it. to put it. Mm -hmm. And everything from both ways, all the way from Paul's to yeah, around my the yard, corner. And my yard, half of it goes oh, toward uh, the Fish water River, and half of it goes down toward Greenwood. Mm -hmm. From the, uh, the culverts at the dry hydrant. Yeah. Comes all the way from Paul's to that. Right, dry that's the only place there. to put any water. Well, and it has come all the way Some of it sheds corner. off toward. Uh, oh, so it all comes back to that one point. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's two culverts there that shed the water off into the low land before Chuck Bachelor's old house, you know, yeah. in that little low spot. Down here, Some of it yeah. goes there, but yeah, a lot of it has to go all the way through. Yeah, it's a hard one. That's a tough area. That's like I said, there's the road needs to be built up. When we get done with the culverts, it need, we need some gravel. Yeah, because the culverts are popping get up so it, it raise can it up get off. Two feet? I'd raise it up a foot at least. At least a foot. Yeah. It would make a big difference. Mm -hmm. But that's a lot of gravel. That's a lot of gravel, yeah. But it'd be great to appreciate you can get in there and grade that for us. Yeah. 
at least to just get rid of those bumps. Mm -hmm. A little further where they put that inch and a half in, that's pretty bumpy again. I know he came in once and just cuffed that off, but it really needs to be. Yeah, some finer stuff on it. Now, is there any benefit? Well, it needs to be covered and all it's Yeah, so yeah. it's not the right stuff. It was just fair for yeah. the mud. Right. Which it did work. Yeah. And we were headed there. No, so I that's why I asked yeah. you about that. No, I, just I never it. got back to yeah. you. <laughs> um, is there any benefit because of the amount of stuff that has to be done if we brought in somebody to do some of this ditching and because um, I'm thinking it's if we're not going to get it done, we could hire some people to just do oh, some we'll ditching. Oh, we'll get it done. It just, you know, it just takes patience, you know, everybody wants this done, that done, anything. It just, we'll get it. We're, but, you know, I think it's we're just, through the worst part. We've just been playing catch-up. We, no, we're it. two yeah. months behind. We're well, just understand. playing catch-up. You know, yeah. a lot of this stuff would already be done. Yeah, well, that's why we wonder a little bit if, if you're bring still playing catch-up, could be catch up. No, We're in pretty good shape now, you know, everybody's getting their vacation stuff done. and. Yeah. You know, we've got a week of mowing here, but after that, it should be. Because that's what we think good. about, you know, with, say, even Chuck. Mm -hmm. You know, right. just to come like we got somebody category, local that you could in there and say, hey, go over and do this for us because we're having trouble getting back there. Yeah. Would, I'd like to see us get back into that point of being able to hire some subs to help out because we're basically a two man crew. Yeah. We got 40 miles of roads, and when you get a lot bad, it takes a long time to catch up. You know, it takes a long time to do a road. You know, yeah. it's you guys have been buying the eight balls. It's, it's all spring, it's and then it rains, rains and rains and rains. And rains. Yeah. yeah, I'm exhausted. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's my thought process. Yeah. Even with a week off, I just uh, using that heavy <laughs> road as an example yeah. of an area to have somebody come in and take care of the culverts and yeah. do. Because we used to do that and, years ago. Right. And just to get ahead, and then we just got to come in and grade or whatever. Contractors to to do just help us catch up because we can't do it all. Or it makes it tough you, unless you want to work 80 hours a week. Right, <laughs> sure you don't in the summer like everybody else. Yeah, it's the window that we've got to work on is so narrow right. that I do think that we've got to get back to a point where we hire different people, different times for some special things. places. Yeah. Well, think about, yeah, think think about, about it, it and give us some of your feedback. I'm not asking you yeah. for an answer tonight. Because you may say, hey, okay, that'd be a great spot for to have somebody come in Just and do have that. Come in and take care of the bad culverts, clean yeah. up the ditches, and. And yeah. all you got to do is grade or bring material or whatever you need to do. Yeah. Got to more there. And then we can do it to help out. Right. right. The other thing nowadays, of course, is the liability insurance and all that stuff. So we have to find a way Yeah, to we talked about out. that. Yeah, we'll work on that earlier. Yep. Trying right. to figure that out. Because you can't just it's crazy to put somebody out there because somebody will run them over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, some of the regulations, you know, that you can't hire people because of yeah. whatever. Right. They're putting us, they're putting us behind. So that'd be something so. issue now too. Yeah. So it would have to be somebody we really trust. Well, think yep. about if there's a spot that we, if you brought someone in for a few days, if there's a great spot they could do an area just to take care of something that really needs doing, mm -hmm. then uh, let us know. We don't have to have any. Yeah, we thought about that. You have somebody with an excavator come, and then you send one of the boys right. over, you yeah. know, to haul the dirt or whatever, and you know, it gives you that one extra man for mm -hmm. a week or whatever. There's an extra excavator. Extra excavator. <laughs> <'Cause that'll laughs> take extra yeah. It may really help you out, and that'll take yeah. some of the pressure off. Yeah. Well, you know better than I do what where you can get the most bang for your buck. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we used to do that a long time ago. Really? Yeah, that was hard a lot. Yeah. 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 So no, you're not having some of the less traffic road. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I don't remember when we stopped. Probably maybe when Harry. Maybe with Harry. I I'm mean, not a sure. good maybe example land. would be like Jarnis is up there. That yeah. Was pretty good. That should all be ditch, and that's just I don't know how we ever got. Maintaining that anyway, but yeah, yeah. Just thought was we don't have time to go over there and play around with that. We get yeah. too much other stuff. Well, like, you know, that's yeah. what I'm saying. So if you come up, that with would a, be an example. Yeah, yeah if you come up with places like that, you came like up that. with a list. We might be able to hire somebody and right. take care of some of those, that and then you could get on the job the, for like truck or something. Yeah, get on to the yeah, main yeah, track. Try drags. to figure out a week's worth of work for somebody no different places. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Set up some cones for them early in the day. Close the road. Just close the road. After day and leave for work. Close the road. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, you know. places there are a lot of little stuff like that. So something like that, yeah. we could help you. Yeah. You know, oh, stay a, with what's more important. And, there's a lot take of little places stuff. like that. Right. Yeah. So that'd be good. You can make a list. Even can say below Paul's. You know. Yeah, down through the crotch. Area. Right. Yeah. Sally's so crotch. Was only <laughs> the down. You could have someone do ditch it there too, because our whole road there's only four houses on it. Right. Fourth mm -hmm. yeah. one. Three five. Yeah, we should talk about that more later. But especially I think the, 
the hill. There is a we've got a lot of little tiny the, roads the, around. A lot of little yeah. places. Yeah. And then you can spend it. your time on the county. My roads. priorities. I, I I go either by the number of houses on the road or how much traffic gets. That's where I go. How many phone calls so again? <laughs> the less traffic roads are on the back burner. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And that makes sense. So and it just this year has been astronomical. It's yep. been crazy. Trying yeah. to get done. Yeah, so that's what we're thinking. Maybe if we could, but there, there's a lot of those little places like that, that something like that that help you, you get caught that. up. And make yeah. a list. Make a yeah. list. Yeah, yeah. We'll take a look at it. Maybe we can help you out that way. Get some of these little perfect for him one day jobs or half a day jobs right. or a couple. Right. Him and Ronnie yeah. or whatever. Him and Ronnie or whatever. Yeah. They can play with their own gun truck. Yeah. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> Leave my guys alone. Yeah. Let's see what they would need to do so that we don't run afoul with passive and. Talk to Brandy about that. Again. Yeah, I'll make a phone call that. too because again, we've hired people to change the door and mm -hmm. private contractors, and we're in the same firehouses, they're all insured by the town. Yeah, there's got to be a way. I know they don't like do that. There's got to be As a way. As I said, I've had to push back with the league before because they'll say what's the law, but then you find out, well, that's no, just how we like it. So, well, what you like may not necessarily we're going to pay for it. Yeah. Because we have to do stuff where we got to do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Get it done. I mean, obviously, there's some places where we couldn't close the road. Mm -hmm. So you think of it half a day or whatever. Right there, yeah. Maybe next yeah, time come to the list. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I want to get a chance. <laughs> do, it in your, do it in your spare time. Yeah. Put it all right right now, I got a chance right there. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's yes. all I had for today. It's pretty easy. <laughs> I can think of two that you mentioned, over. Yes. But there's a few little spots like that that would work good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because that's what we did it the way in the years past. You okay. know, Gary and Ripper even on and stuff. Yeah. And some of the, we would sub it out just there's because some there's too much. Real trouble and stuff from different places that, you know, oh, Kurt was a good one. They hired Kurt. Kurt yeah, Phil, no, so no. Sure. Colors are too high, so the water can't even get in on the Really? There's a lot of bad. places on the counter. Kurt did those, yeah. So Thank the, you, Kurt. There is other sites <laughs> that hired <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's <laughs> probably certain people you can hire and certain right. people yeah. you can't. Yeah, probably would exactly. require a little more oversight on you to kind of keep an eye on what they're and doing. And then you're going to run into, well, you hired this one. I didn't know. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah that's, uh, it would have to be part for the course. a big thing in sorting out from me or something. Yeah. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you can give us some places, we'll look at the other end of it on how to get some bids to do it. Yeah. yeah if we have to go that route or... Yeah, it would seem to be easier just to say we're going to pay a certain number of hours. Just we'll pay you for 40 hours, 20 hours, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Just go do as much as you can get done until it's Hire, water, yeah, you're out of hours. Hours. That's the easiest way to do yeah. it. Yeah, hire him for 40 well, hours and time. you tell us what you want. Like that, they should, you know, probably go back in there and then just do it. Yeah. 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 For the little places. Yeah, because you said it's just only 40 miles of road, but. Right. It's 40 miles of roads you guys got to maintain with two full-time yeah, employees. Yeah, it's just a lot. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, people don't think about it, but, you know, most of this stuff is just winter sand. Yep. You know, there's 4,000 yards of gravel of sand. Dragged on, all over the roads. On yep. 40 Every miles year. of road. That's yep. 100 miles of, I mean, uh, 100 yards a mile. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of sand. Yes, it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what's in our water ditches. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Every year. Every year. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just pave it all. What could it possibly cost? That cures right? every day. Right. <laughs> it's million dollars a mile is no problem. Mm -hmm. yep. But, yeah, people don't realize. You, know, yep. you can see a lot of roads where we've, we've cut turnouts out and stuff. And you start to really see it build up out there right. now. And where it really needs to be dragged, get rid of. Yeah, drag right. it's it's good reasons for buying the gravel sand because that is reusable in the road. Yeah, that's my yeah, sand. Turn it back, right back yeah. in. It's not just silt. You, you can't know? reuse it. Yeah. That's the. That was my biggest. Yeah. Thing when we did that. Got the, the good sand, sand is yeah. really good. Yeah. So there's a lot of places around we all see that somebody <laughs> could go out there if they had the time right. and reclaim it. You know, and get it back and. We have we've been up to a lot of the cutouts okay. and stuff with the loader. Yep, and take it right out of there. Yep. And you take a cutout that's full and then it washes the side of the road, you just go in there with the loader and clean that out and then put it in the wash and then just back drag it and when grab yep. comes it gets graded right back in the road. Yep. So you're fixing that gravel that's already there. Yep. 
Yeah, so you don't have to move it too far. All right. Yeah. Just put it right back in the road and it'll get mixed in with grease. Yep, yeah, good. Yeah, it saves you hauling it out there. You know, the washes don't hurt anything, but that's what they did. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> They're off the travel course, most right. of them, anyway. Yeah. yeah. We do mix a lot of that back in, places yeah. where we can. Where you yeah. can get to those cutouts with the loader. Yeah. And just keep, trickle it right in the road. Keep the sod out of it, you're all set. Right. Nice. Using that dies and like, just like that arrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, it dies off and you just grate it right up. You grate it right in. Mm -hmm. I just reminded of this note that, that you gave me. Um, there's a fellow that's requested a couple loads of gravel for the East Long Road. Um, you got two you, last year. Yeah, usually each year. Oh, here back. Yeah, we went to Lanesworth, right? Well, no, that, last year is yeah. the first year he's ever got in. Now we want some more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Two loads we had more. put it in there, I think, when Harry was here. I remember Harry drawing a couple loads up there, so it all may have been a one. In there. I don't think he went all the way down in. Yeah. I don't think it. We I did. Don't, I don't know. Oh, you did? Yeah. All the way down in? Last year. Yeah, right away he did. Yeah, I would call him and find out where he wants. I don't know if right. it's up front or in the middle well, or. We've always given uh, Moose there. What's his yeah. last name? Brian, 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 Brian? Yeah, Brian. No. Moose. No, no, not Moose Richards. No, he's no? from Barrie. Huh. He lives all the way out. What is it? The north of. Is it North Lake Road or what is that? It's the North Road, and then there's the and then the roads so that go off the North Road. Road. It's called there's the South Lake Road, and then there's the North Lake Road that breaks up into all these right. other roads. This camp's out at the North Lake Road, right? I'm not sure. Yeah, but I think it's it is a nice camp. At yeah, the end. we all yeah. they have a work party, and we give them a couple of road, yeah. loads of gravel and, and they, spread it around. But they haven't done that for a couple of years. A couple of years, so maybe they're. I guess they're needing getting back to it again. Probably, yeah. probably with the rain that we've had. Yeah, um, it could be too. Yeah, they have so, some kind of little association with them, like yeah. Eric's gold and the tractor yeah. with a plow, that kind of like your setup. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. They haven't done that, so I don't know. Yeah. maybe what they yeah. maybe what this is about. Yeah, I know the drop down to the um, North Lake Road. It's a pretty steep hill, so I bet with the rain that, that we've had. Pretty tight down in there with a 10 way down to Jason's. Yeah. yeah, it is tight. Yeah, it's tight <laughs> down there. Yeah. Well, Jason's I'll, is this way and there's yeah. Angel's is that way. I'll give him a call. And, uh, Got a couple loads here, a couple loads there. Yeah. They don't Keep get much else from us. No. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it Keep happy. Keep everybody yeah. happy. Yeah, when they're right out there, tax it's bill, send it in, right. they'll be smiling. <laughs> Way down in there, it's a tough one. Yeah, no, and you can't get way these long at all. Yeah, yeah. No. Way down well, the, was between the two sharp tires. It was right down to no. Jason's. I can't even get my. Uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, you no. can't get to the dam. No, actually, the dam is closed. There's a gate now. Oh, there. there is. I got a key to the gate. Yeah, there's a gate there. That must be where they, because the lady mailed me the key for that. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Fire trucks. We can't uh -huh. get nothing but our mini bumper up there anymore. Uh -huh. yeah. I get out there ways, but there's a sharp turn. It, it turns neither than the next 90 degree. I don't think I can get around that. Yeah. Or the, the North Road kind of, um, well, past, past the final turn into the, the lake, North Lake Road, um, the North Road continues straight, um, and then there's a, there's a Y in the road, um, and I don't know whether it was E.B. Hyde or someone else, but the road that's traveled now, that's used, um, is actually a private road at that point. And the actual town class, this is one I'd love to show you. Yeah, it actually. like goes off on the side. It goes off on the side. Is that where the guy's house burned a few years ago? Uh, no, no, this, this way. is way beyond even where there ever was a house. Yeah, there's um, a house out there that burned a few years ago that we couldn't yeah. get to. Them. Yeah, somebody has a yeah. trailer. It's like a deer camp. But there's, oh. He's put a cable across it. Right. Todd Moore what? was the one that was logging there. Yeah. Dragged yeah. the stuff right up the road and, then, and then moved the road over. And then the road beyond, which is town class road, Todd Moeller, um, just basically trashed it, hauling logs out, and, and never really did anything to fix it. He also trashed the private road. Right. So is that Woodbury's road that he trashed down in there? And so has it ever been fixed at all, or no? It's just no. passable? No. Yeah, the no. guy fixed it. He fixed it himself, his own road, and put a gate on it, right? Well, I think the gates were already there. Oh, were they? I, think, I don't think he ever drove on that part. But And then, of course, Cabot threw up the road. Their at side. their town line that comes out by Quitz Pond, and, and nothing's been done to that. That's, you know, you could get, get through it on a. I used to drive my 
cars in there to go in. One, I went out there as far as I could go one day with my pickup, and that's where a guy had a kind of a house. There's stuff yeah. everywhere that's out there. Yeah. yeah, you that's can only get a pickup truck out there. Though. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. This is out beyond. Yeah, beyond. Yeah, yeah, I could see yeah. where his driving, and then there was a road. That yeah, yeah that's right, right there yeah. where that place is. Uh, <laughs> the road that goes to the left is. And the privately yeah. built, okay, and I assume it was EV high for, yeah. for the long. But, huh. but Todd Muller does own property. I think he logged his property, but he used that road and he used um, the town class four Rotuda yeah. with his skitter and um, trash. But anyway, <laughs> that's that's another class four road that yeah, it's um, a tough shape. That guy lives up there year round, doesn't he? He doesn't live there year round. It's hard to say. Sometimes he's there and sometimes he isn't. Yeah. Um, but not usually in the winter. I haven't seen him at all lately. Yeah, I haven't seen him lately. You used to see him quite a lot off yeah. and on there. Did he rebuild because his house burnt? That that house burnt? That, that, okay. Three, four years ago, I got called to say, well, what happened to the fire yesterday? I was like, oh, got a fire. So he said, well, I was out on the north road, so I got in my pickup and drove through the snow and drove way out there, and his gigantic house he had, trailer thing, was gone. Uh-huh. Right. Yeah. Fire. So I got way out there and I said, what happened? He goes, well, we lit the wood stove and opened it and I went outside and I looked back, the house was on fire, so we just sit and watch it burn. Oh, so, um, okay. <laughs> Good enough. He's a character. Yeah. He doesn't have his kids anymore. He's either. got stuff yeah, everywhere. Yeah, he had kids in school for a while here. Yeah, because that's, because they were fundraising for the kids as all their stuff burned. I was like, I didn't have any fire shit today. Yeah, I know he, he used to come out too. He didn't beat up cars and stuff. And yeah, kids yeah. yeah, he's got yeah, a ton of stuff. There's stuff there. everywhere out there. Mm -hmm. yeah. He's living in Maine. So you don't think anybody's out there anymore? I think he just comes no. up here and there. Well, it's still been. up though now, right? Yeah. He rebuilt. Mm -hmm. I was out there yeah. not too yeah. long ago and yeah. there's a building no. there. Who's got the other place, the better place is the after town slog in there? Uh, you start down the hill and there's a little, you know, a decent oh, red camp. Yeah, that's, there. I don't know where those folks are from, but yeah. I haven't been out there this yeah. year. Yeah, they're fairly, I have met them before. They're, Okay, so village paving? I mean, anybody get back to me, so okay. I'm going to just work right. on the RFP. Yeah, yeah, I'm we'll sorry, I, I kind of spaced out on getting that yeah, to no. you in the time. No, I got it, but I, again, this we've had, yeah. uh, we've had uh, we have to call number seven since Saturday morning, mm -hmm. yeah. so we've been busy. So yeah. I, The problem is that it, we may not be able to get it done before the end of the year. I don't don't know how you're going to plow and maintain. You've seen the town right. parking lot. You know, I, I remember I'm hoping Rob I can get someone to hook us on at the end of the year, but... Okay. What if uh, um, we were to take up the paving and put stone down? I mean, I remember Robin mentioning that. And we would actually, have to have, because our problem is we got to be able to lay stuff out that's not going to turn to mud, because uh -huh. I can't drag all that mud on all our equipment, because the building's too small mm -hmm. to wash our stuff, so we all our hoses and we have to wash right. outdoors. Yep. Winter's always a problem. I, I don't yeah. know the answer to that. Right. And yeah. then you're going to have an issue if, we, if the stone might plow up and... Right. Yeah, and it would have to be rolled compact or something. I'll work. Yeah. I'll work yeah. on this. Okay. I just I didn't this last couple of weeks. I mean, we can always cold patch it like we have in the past. Right. Just, just, yeah, just, just, just what it's done is those winter. thin layers have all broken up. Yeah. The water got under them. Yeah. I mean, the worst case scenario if it didn't get done, we can cold patch it. Yeah. Right. Now we got I'll keep there. working on it, whether okay. we'll be successful or not. Right. <laughs> We're yeah. trying. No one will even call you back, so that's where I'm at. Yeah. We're probably busy, baby. Yeah. yeah. State but comes up once in a while with a little bit of pavement in the back of a truck. Yeah. yeah. Spread a little bit in some of the but holes. But possible you can, <laughs> we might get it hooked on at the very end of the year okay. by somebody to, yeah. to do it. So yeah. I might have enough of that reclaim over there. You just toss it for now. Yeah. And what I don't know what to do with is all that broken up pavement. If you right. just, I don't know. It's just the, the problem is it's just it's all yeah. the holes. We can put that stuff in with the right. loose pavement. I don't know if you could scrape the top. I don't know. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Sweep it. Yeah, it's all loose and you, you can't quite get your fingers to pick it up, but it's loose. Uh -huh. right. And then they drive over it when the pieces come out, so making a big pile behind the building of all broken paper. Because mm -hmm. yeah. pieces are flying up and people drive in. They don't right. slow down there. No. <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> they don't slow down anyway. No. <laughs> so that will, maybe okay. by the next meeting, I'll have okay. it done and we can. Okay. I'll have some. I, I just got to talk to one of the contracts about what to put in there for a mm -hmm. spec, right. like how many inches or whatever they have to yep. do. So it's yep. a road spec. Yep. And the specs on the, the lower cabin road, those are special. Right, and that's I was just going to yeah. say we're going to use this kind of maybe two layers. Of, uh, if it, worse comes worse, I'll look it up in a standard right. manual and yeah. put it out there. This is what we want. Okay. Yeah. 
then they can laugh about it or mm -hmm. correct it. Mm -hmm. I could try contacting a, a fellow from Pike to see what he would recommend there. Um, he seemed to be pretty. He was pretty helpful in coming and just you know giving the right. estimates and what should be done. And, and, uh, so I could try giving him a call. Yeah, if you could at least tell us what materials right. that you could put right. in. Right. Like, then I could at least, we could send it out. You never know if you're going to yeah. get a bite. That was my thought. No right. comment. At least, hey, we got this project. It's worth, you know, whatever, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000. And someone will hopefully buy, ooh, I can fill in a weekend here. Or I can yeah. get yeah, at the end of October or something. I know the yeah. pavement plants close around mid November. So, mm -hmm. yeah. 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 It would be better for all involved if we can get it paid. Yeah. Okay, well, that's, I think that does the. Town Highway stuff. Yep. Anything else? Thank you. Okay. All right. Just planning on mowing and probably yeah. spreading some more gravel and stuff. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, get get those forty hours. We pay for it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It'll be the first time. Yeah. Boy, it's hard. It's hard to do that, but we'll get it this time. Yeah. Okay. The work in the village. Yeah. Work crosses Route 14 mm -hmm. from there down. It's got a bunch of material in it too, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. the water goes through the culvert and then it goes up, so it's not helping itself How clean up clean above the last water. Time? It was a long time ago when we cleaned that. Probably after the last flood cycle. It was Irene. 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 Was it post Irene? No. I think it was post Irene that somebody got in there. One of Rossi's. I think it was Rossi's uh -huh. excavator. Yeah. They got in there. They got permission to clean it, and they mm -hmm. went in and did it real quick before mm -hmm. they changed their mind. Uh -huh. But that's got a lot of stuff in it that's... Yeah, because the state culvert's half full too, isn't it? That it probably is. One, yeah. one of those culverts, even, wash out. even yeah. back, um, the, the metal culvert um, is is at least a third full of, of erosion. And that was, you know, yeah. back three or four years ago. The upper stuff yeah. is great now. They, I don't know if you yeah. looked at it, but it got mm -hmm. cleaned up. The mm -hmm. upper side will usually flush out if you can get it to go away. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, we took a yeah. full 10 yards out. <laughs> That's all, though. That's all, though, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but there's probably another 30 yards below it that, that needs to come out. Yeah, getting into a stream now, we would definitely have to have somebody coming from the stream. Yeah, so if you could talk to that lady outside. again about the lower end of it, because that at least would let it all continue to flow instead of keep backing it up again. Okay. Because right. it is pretty high if you look that? at it. Actually the, the women's auxiliary, I think. The gravel is on one side, and then... Yeah, the women's the auxiliary. auxiliary. Yeah. I'm pretty yeah. sure that the state ordinance, a landowner can get into the brook or river and get 10 yards right. and clean there, culvert out. Not really. Out so there is. So if you could get permission from them. Yeah, so if we get permission from the lady at the state, then we can get permission from Robin mm -hmm. or Just their group and, yeah. and clean out. I'm sure there's so less than 10 yards through there. I'm sure, yeah. Right. It doesn't look like more than nine and a half. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, I, I could contact her. Because she may want to come look at it or something too, but right, yeah. it would but be I nice to get the water flowing out to the village. Oh, okay. It, He's yeah. the one that gave us permission uh, for Chris's, uh, both oh, Chris's house. Okay, yeah. well, I'll ask him. I think Shauna. Why wouldn't he? I mean, Shauna yeah, contacted legal to do, they should be able to tell you. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you need your permission to do the outside. Do the right. outside. Yeah. Yeah. Just tell him you didn't. Misunderstood where you were supposed to stack. Right. <laughs> First <story>. stop. <laughs> yeah. See you later. See you later. later. Yeah. Yeah. We'll check on Peter. See where he is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I looked at that the other day. You know, mm -hmm. man, there's a lot down here too. Maybe so. we're all set for. Okay. All right. Well, we, must be dry we, can, we can do other things, mm -hmm. or just let it pass. <coughs> Diana, you please. Next! Brandon's not quite ready and may not be ready here, so. If we can come in and sign stuff later, we did that before. Right. Yeah. I think she's just trying to get the financials and stuff for us. But. Yeah. Just. So, we have any money left over at the end of the year? No. <laughs> so, right now, I'm. We still have, Tom came in and, and covered and did some of the AP. Um, AP is? Accounts payable okay. and payroll, but prepaying expenses. So I'm doing journal entries now, trying to finalize the exact numbers for closing the mm -hmm. fiscal year. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm doing now, yeah. um, cleaning up 
money that that um, needs to show in last fiscal year. So I ended up transferring thirty thousand from the money market over into the general fund. Um, so by doing that and by cleaning up our prepaid expenses, it did give me roughly forty-five thousand in the general fund. Um, But still, uh, in receiving the fourteen thousand, um, an invoice tonight from Greg for the sand, mm -hmm. part of the sand they're yeah, wanting that one ASAP. Yeah. Um, I will be having to go out for a line of credit. Okay. Um, you might need to do that. Then. So yes. it's going to take me. I'm hoping by the end of tonight that I'll have a financial statement mm -hmm. showing the closing of the fiscal year. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, either way, yeah. uh, you'll have a balance sheet and you'll have the do to do from, but but um, as far as the financial statement mm -hmm. going Sorry, forward. You know, it doesn't have to be tonight. Well, I'd like it to be tonight while you're all here. And, <laughs> um, if I can get it tonight, then I'll scan it, the report to you, and that's I'll send it to you. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, that's, that's where I'm at. I don't at. work all night for that. So. No. I don't want any ambulance at 10 o'clock. So. So you get hurt yeah, you get it is. <laughs> that's your shift. Yeah, so that's the the update. Thirty grand was transferred out of the money market, mm -hmm. um, and then I'll get you your due to do from. And that'll show us how we ended like the year on the highway fund and all that. Because I'm interested in where we had how do we overspend? Yeah, right. Do we underspend? Do right. We yeah. Blow the hell out of the budget. I have no idea. So. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Because this all works into whether we can hire. A lot of this other road work we got to yeah. look at. So. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So I'm just not knowing. I'm interested in where we landed. Mm -hmm. And me too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I understand it's not easy to figure out right away. Um, <laughs> get it all shuffled out. Yeah. There should be. Um, um, I got an email <coughs> about the, the hazard mitigation grant, the mm -hmm. money that we've been waiting for. Um, I had filled out that form back in April and sent it in, and they had no record of it so and somehow i found i think it was the woman who was on maternity leave came back and found I my saw email, that email. Yeah. so i redid it and sent it in and right that would be nice to have that for, right. for fiscal year 19 but i don't know if it's, i don't know when it'll come it's but a matter of a journal entry this is yeah. we were still pending on receiving it but we actually received it in fiscal year mm -hmm. 20. Alrighty, so and, that's and my... And then, um, I don't know if, um, maybe on Thursday, if I could just sit with you a minute. We have, we're kind of scheming the financing of a, a mower brush cutter that could be used with the bucket loader that might work um, using our mowing, tractor mowing rental every year, that, that money that we spend. Okay. Um, just to see if you thought the Union Bank, and there's another piece of equipment. Right, that other potential thing. I didn't, Greg has got to look at it, but. Yeah, if we could if we could finance it. Um, yeah, the banks are more than willing to. Yeah. <laughs> what we would do is if try we to get afford to pay for it within that budget. <laughs> yeah. Because that would be try to use that, that, that money that, we're, that we spend on the tractor and the mower every year as a, so we aren't adding to the budget at all. But right. Um, just uh, um, having. And there is that 14000 that's still in the HERF. Right. Yeah. Well, I'd like to leave that there. But I think. It well, it's still equipment for the highway. <coughs> right. Yeah. But Whether it be brought at the next town meeting, saying, "Can we use these funds for that?" Since it is a reserve fund. Right. So, if you spend from a reserve fund, like if we were to put money to buy trucks in that fund, like we do with it the is. fire department, do you have to get both from the town to spend that money, or can we spend it for trucks? Reserved yeah. accounts are supposed to be voted on by the town. Yeah. Okay. So that would explain why you don't put money in there. And so it was. A, it was. Right. Intentional. The money that's in there was intentional to pay for the equipment. Just other things. Yeah. No, the leases of the equipment, and right, it was an right. extra. That was the leftover. Technically, not really, mm -hmm. because um, it was accounted for to pay part of the leases this year, uh, last fiscal year. Because mm -hmm. um, my my thought process, we're for, I'm getting further ahead, but if we were to want to set like we paid whatever hundred and some thousand in lease payments this month if we wanted to keep that money in the budget for next year this whatever next year is it's to set aside toward a purchase of a next vehicle 
It's just yeah. in the budget. It's yeah. just in the we highway budget. We could save that money is what I'm saying right. every year. So if you save for It'll two years, show in the do to do from if you, there's you extra money in the Okay. That was my question because we have right. a couple of years without trucks. I think we should put money aside yeah. so we can pay with, that. With the HERF, HERF schedule the you know, the money that we had designated to go into the HERF fund, you know, with the lease payments rather than putting it in the HERF fund, it's basically part of right. the yearly budget. Because yeah, I'm talking toward like a savings yeah. account. So, so we don't we have a truck payment next year, right? Right. Except for the small two. one. Correct. There's yeah. two there so that I just paid for the a, last one. Just exactly. throwing it out as an idea, we could save no, that, whatever those payments, put that in next year. Exactly. But I just didn't know if we have a, me a mechanism to save. But my that thing money. is, is that as far as saving that money or having that money in there now, is bringing it before the town. This is tax money that we have raised, and now we want to put it toward this or put it in the highway to pay for the expenses of the lease of the equipment. Right. Okay, so I, was I was asking Hardwick how they do, and they do what I just described. They have a capital reserve fund where they put that money yeah. in that because technically fund the year. money is for the highway mm -hmm. and those that money is supposed to be shown in the highway and that herf money it's an account of its own so it's not showing part of the herf so we, part of the highway right now do. we just got to figure out how to do it so yeah we have a herf fund now right we do yeah. we do that's yeah. what i'm saying it couldn't we put that yeah. money in the herf we can the herf we, for we, in the, in the, the schedule you know, we fund it every the year the schedule we you know it's every year there's like at this point, it's like ninety thousand dollars that that we would like to put into the HER fund, but that ninety thousand, you know, we're paying for the leases for the trucks, so right. that designated ninety thousand dollars, a good chunk of that is going sure. towards the lease right. payments. Because my thought process because is because there shouldn't be a cushion fund; right. it should show in the highway. So that fourteen no, some no. odd thousand should be, even though it's a cushion. It should be shown. Right. We're, not, it's in not, that we're looking at a what it is is a is a capital fund where. You, you anticipate you, every year you know how much is, you got to set aside to buy the next truck correct yeah. and so I'd, you'd want to save that much money every year mm -hmm. right and then be able to just buy the truck that was the idea yeah. and that's what our budgeting does for the highway but that extra money that's in the herf right now right and we I shouldn't that, have right. a herf account we should take that money and put it into close the account You're saying there should, as a voted correct because gotcha. there's no payments that come out of and that it's all in the highway reserve fund for i wouldn't even create a different one just put it leave the money because in the, the money can if you you're anticipating year, the highway money always carries over okay, there's so you can. money right forgive me for being ignorant i'm just trying no, to nope. figure out it'll show you in the do to do from how much money you're carrying forward each okay. year it never goes away again saving money you might at some point be carrying 250 or 300 thousand right. over to pay for that next well, truck sometimes when right. we have our money left over we use that when we set the tax rate Right. We well, that's not even. It has in the past. Yeah, this is. But if it's designated and it's voted on oh, for it. Right. I know what you're saying. If it was dead voted for a specific purpose, it has right. to go to that purpose. And that's why at Correct. the town meeting, it saying that this money was created and as a her fund, mm -hmm. can we put this now into since the highway equipment is in the highway fund now, mm -hmm. toward. Or could we spend that again? That we heard. Could we spend the money toward like the purchase of a mower head because it's it's it's, it's equipment. equipment. It's so equipment. So we could. So there is. So, yeah. so if you're recommending that that's why that goes I, away, I just want to make sure we have a mechanism moving forward to save money. Oh yeah, because they're all itemized, and I can always add an account if you are anticipating a new vehicle. Yeah. Because okay. the 13 and 14 are all done paid for. Right. Yeah. So now it's it might be a good if time we want to anticipate some money aside. Anticipate. Those item now? lines. We we're paying for the bucket loader, a small amount, relatively speaking. You got the, and the new truck. Uh, and the new truck. And the and new, new truck. truck. Right. So it's a real good. happy place to be. Would have no leases or a very low amount of leases yeah. on right. your next purchase. Right. And that's what Hardwick has been able do to do. Because I was just talking. I was down there at the, yeah. the ambulance, but I went over and I was talking. He showed me his budget, and they're setting. Mm -hmm. they, they like we did with the fire department. The voters like that. Where we're gonna. We're not going to be there for five years, but yeah. after that time, we're going to be setting money aside. Yeah, we started that for the next purchase. year or so ago. A couple of years ago, yeah. you started doing that. Yeah, putting that. Is yeah. you I, going I to make the majority of the purchase? I think yeah. it was a business manager, or someone there. And Toby, wasn't it? Toby, a baseball player. No, this was a yeah. woman, uh, Brittany, something or other, in, in Hardwick. But you know what that oh. Hardwick had done is that one year they. Um, they had a huge amount that they put into a capital fund, right. and they, you know they people in town they had to vote at a town meeting, of course. Yep. And so now they're pretty much set up, and they have a yep. plan. So um, they 
don't lease anything. They no. have the money. To, and that's what he showed me. Right. He showed me in the budget that in so many years that truck right there gets replaced, and we just yeah. get a check. For yeah. It. So they have a year. You know, they have. They know how many, how many years they're going to have. Because you truck. can put that right on a spreadsheet. And I've got a spreadsheet yeah. with the fire department. We can put the town trucks right into it, and yeah. it says the replacement cost is anticipated this much. You got to put this much every year. Yeah. Skip mm -hmm. had a spreadsheet. I'll set up. Yeah, I remember yeah. seeing yeah. that. Yeah. Where all, every truck and everything that we had is on it, yeah. and when it's paid yeah. off, and how much. If I have yeah. one, I'll bring in. But we're ahead of. I just. Yeah. yeah. Sorry to get so, us off track. I just so when I give you the do to do from, you'll see how much is revenue that's left over. So we've that, got some money in that in fund. That. We could spend toward those two items. It looks Good. like in the hearse, yes. which sounds like that'd be an appropriate right. way to spend the money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, especially if it'll work as as it's advertised. Right. That would save right. us some money in the long run too by reclaiming right. gravel. But they're going to have to want to. To, to use do it. it, yeah. So yeah, that like, conversation, I don't want to force a piece of equipment on somebody, but they've right. got to. Well, I think again, you know, like I know Greg's been trying to get a hold of the folks with this um, mower, um, chopper, shredder, um, and uh, there was Fourth of July week. Nobody's around. Yeah, so my so. my item, I, there's no one in Vermont that, but is it, they're a Western company. Right. They, but there's a lot of other areas. It's a lot of positive, and that's what this, we may have to just say it's working everywhere else. I grant you. Not be perfect that's, everywhere, but that's it will the save. mower that reaches out off. No, the my the, the gravity oh, retriever, but the mower yeah. is the same way. Yeah. Anything you buy, you could probably find a place it's not going to work. Right. Yeah. But if it works on ninety percent of what you're going to do, it makes sense to buy. Yeah, if I see Pete's equipment. He's got one of the got a tractor with all those arm mowers on the side okay. of it. So you know, Harry suggested, you know, if you want to try something, try that first and see if it works for you before, before you buy it. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and that's what I suggest too. If you can get a hold of the company, did they have a demo? Did they have a? Yeah. But yeah. it's not a yeah, ton of money. I did see it up there. So it looks like a smaller tractor than ours. It's just one of those. Those are both items that we buy. They need to put someone on using it and use the thing. Right. Yeah. You just don't want to park at the town shed. Not no. To use. no. So I'm gonna go work on the financial. Thank you. Okay. All right. Want to flip those lights on? Great. Thanks. Sitting yeah. here in the dark. Okay. <laughs> it helps. So Diana, I guess we're ready for. the Good. Uh, Michael signed this, and Greg has signed it. It's a curb cut permit for Danny Durkee. One of you, uh, other one, other ones, want to sign it? What is it? An access cut? permit up on Cabot Road. And just pass for Danny. The land they just bought. Now. Danny bought some land. Just pass or before? I'm not sure which side of it it is on. Actually, right. so we should sign this. Greg's all good with it. Guess he's going to build a house yeah. up there. Right? Somebody he's is. Yeah. Where I saw a little excavator parked off the side. Probably have about two there. Just need one, right? Well, there's only room for three, and one of them was Greg. So if you want to That's find anything below there, you can do that too. <laughs> Someone wants to build a house and live in here. Oh, nice. Yeah. How about it? This is uh, just something for the health officer. Oh, great. Lucky dog. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Yeah, conned anybody into that job yet, Mike? Did it at Woodbury. Laura! <laughs> you like health officer duty, right? Pays 10 bucks an hour. If she'd lived in Woodbury, she'd probably be the sheriff. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the constable. <laughs> That's like dragging people out of the fire. You can go with an eight hour call, you'll get 10 bucks. Ooh, <laughs> don't do it for the money. <laughs> it's not a big job. Mm -hmm. So, yes, and somebody that. asked me the other day, when the hell is the store going to come down? <sighs> well, we'll talk about that. for <laughs> That 7.15 p.m. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Otherwise, elections hopefully are over for now. <laughs> and uh, thank you all for helping last, was it last week or the week before? The 25th week before. when we had that uh, Maybe week crazy week uh, vote on the articles. And because you guys because you guys had approved sending out that um, notice that yep. the OSSU wouldn't send out, 
we had a better turnout than any of them. Yeah, really? I wondered about that. <laughs> We had like 70? That's like 72 people, yeah. The best voter is people. an informed voter. That's so, right, yeah. It solves yeah. about 90% of your issues. Yeah, I was informed all right, but I read some of those articles and it's like, I man. Yeah. I said, I hope so. Uh, what did a good job with this? Say, <laughs> <laughs> that was a very confusing yeah. theory. Because you don't really know yeah. what you're voting to do. Yes. I mean, yeah. been, my thing was I was just depending on the board who's worked hard on it. Yeah, right, done their work. exactly. Yeah. And the, the way they presented it, the articles on the ballot they didn't show like no what context. was crossed out right. and what it was replaced right. and there was with. no so there context was, right. to what it right no so there was no way to yeah yeah, yeah it was, if you hadn't been kind of tagging along with the whole process it really you had no idea what yeah. right right <laughs> yeah. 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 Got something else you want to talk about yeah um yeah. So the thing with Adam, I know that you contacted us, and um, both Paul and I thought it was, you know, we're kind of okay it, but um, you had a private meeting earlier with Brandy, did you? No, we were before we the were meeting talking started. About it. We were talking about it. So we're just what we need to do is figure out if something like this comes up, um, what is the proper process for, um, you know, having somebody do some work like yeah. this? Yeah, well, we've got a. What do you call it? The, uh, con the uh, policy on uh, hiring or spending money. It's, it's, I don't think it triggers until you have something that's well, eight hundred dollars. The procurement, the procurement policy, policy. Yeah, but this is more. I think the the issue for Brandy is that um, you know if we hire somebody who isn't insured um, or isn't able to sign the waiver, then mm -hmm. basically we're getting fined by passing. Yeah, but they did sign the waiver. He did um, sign the waiver and the non-employee work agreement mm -hmm. and the tax form. So there's and, a waiver too. Okay. And, right. the, and in the waiver it says, I, I acknowledge that I'm a sole proprietor and I don't have, okay. and I can buy uh, insurance if I want, but I haven't. Okay. So, so he's not a town, he's, hasn't, he's not right. a town employee. Okay. Right. Well, he could, but he could have been. A, that could have been an option. I don't see how that's any different than hiring Brandy's daughter to stuff envelopes. Uh -huh. It's a... Uh, just uh, so we do have a non agreement. We do have an agreement for yeah. We were asking. No, that there was. I mean, last yeah. year when we had the roof done, Brandy was complaining about the fact that the pavement, you know, the uh, above ground cement was still kind of crappy looking, and there was like five hundred dollars left in the building maintenance fund. So I thought that would be a good time to uh, mm -hmm. get that done. You'll never. You're not going to get a painting contractor to come and do a two hundred dollar painting job. Mm -hmm. So. Is there a big crack in it out here still, or was, that, was there any cracks in it? Uh, I don't think so. So it seems, it seems to me like the bigger issue, and I had mentioned this to you when we talked about it, was who's responsible for things like if some maintenance needs to be done here at the town. Well, you know, that's building. whatever. You know what I'm saying? So maybe I'm not trusted to no, do no, no, a $200 no, not, dollar painting job. No, no, that's job. not what I'm saying. What I'm just saying is uh, so that we don't have an issue with it. You know, mm -hmm. we're going to let... I. I don't know if there's an answer to that question. Mm -hmm. No, you can make it that way. You can. I mean, I bought a chair for for Laura a couple of weeks ago because well, no, we had money left, and that was right, 150 dollars. I didn't yeah. get approval for that. Right, and that's my my point is I don't you know certain things I don't think you should have to code every mm -hmm. show to buy something. To, right. Yeah, but I did get did get yeah, and I did get two of you apparent, what's clear. two approvals. So. Right. Yeah. You, yeah. We yeah. Did, we did okay. At, so. Okay. Yeah, and I don't have an issue with that. I just. Uh, you did mention, though, in your email that someone should be watching. But, you know, I can't, I can't you know, you can't afford to sure. yep. pay me to stay here and watch somebody. Yeah, because I didn't pay. know. My only message is <laughs> if you're going to be here when they're working or something. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah he wasn't in the building. He wasn't in the building. He was, building. He was, he was right. lying outside. So. Yeah. Right. So, no, I don't have an issue with the painting. I just, for moving forward, so there's mm -hmm. no confusion if you needed to have a door fixed or uh, you see what the issue is. Yeah. The door breaks yeah. and you call some money and. Yeah. There's a complaint over who. You're like Tim Higgins came and fixed it. Right. The, if you, yeah, if you we just didn't say that it's okay for her up to a certain amount of money on the town clerk's office yeah. to have this work done. Do we have a policy like that that you don't have to get no. bids if it's under or something? Yeah, yeah we have a procurement policy. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. says, I think it's $800. You do under $800. Anything under $800. But you I, don't still know should, it's, it's, I think it says you should still. Um, Get the best price you can. Sure. So yeah. you know, well, I between, between somebody, a thousand, maybe it's under a thousand, but anything between a thousand and eight thousand, 
you need to get three quotes. Um, anything and under over eight, the, over eight yeah. you got thousand, you have to get. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. right. you're going to have things that come up, tree falls in the yard, the door mm -hmm. gets broken. Mm -hmm. You got to mm -hmm. hire. But I think you know, fix it. Brandy's issue is hiring people that either well because she gets it from passive. You know, the town gets fined mm -hmm. when we mm -hmm. if we hire people that. Um, either don't have insurance or don't have workman's comp mm -hmm. um, and then because it's a liability issue for the town. But you did hire somebody to take down those trees. We did and they and that person signed a waiver. Right. right. And this Which person signed a waiver. What this waiver means. I wasn't familiar with the waiver. Well, well what it says is that uh, the could, undersigned I hereby attest that I am a sole proprietor or partner owner of an unincorporated business and as such I am not considered to be a worker or employee under the provisions of 21 BSA so 60114. So therefore, he is not an employee and he will get a 1099. Have, and, and he'll get fined. He'll get a 1099 if it's over a certain amount, right? $150, $150 he gets a... That he will not be an employee, that he will be... He will get a 1099. That's that's fine. Fine. So yeah. Is there a amount? Is there a minimum amount for the 1099? There is. There used to be, but hundred dollars or something. Six hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. So it's under. Mm -hmm. So you wouldn't need the 1099. And to clarify, mm -hmm. my daughter was hired on as a ballot clerk for the school. We were reimbursed from Hazen. But we also hired her to stuff some envelopes. That was for Hazen, and it was part of not the treasurer's work. But no, it was it was the was the mailing that these guys approved for the uh, the articles vote when we sent out the uh, warning. And I certainly didn't object to that. I certainly don't object to that. I don't see what the big deal is. $150. If that's a legit, if that's a legitimate, um, this is a form of waiver. Period. So it sounds like we can hire anybody that's willing to sign a waiver as long as they're sole. Yes. Again, I'm I mean, the, the tree guy that. told you guys that he didn't have any employees, but he had somebody. Yeah, I don't want to. I wasn't yeah. around for any of that. I don't want to bring it. Yeah, <laughs> and I, I don't know if they have to. Have we do our best. You know? I think he had his dad working with him. Yeah, that's yeah, that's, that's probably. Counts. I know the. I think the ten nine nine limits six hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Used to be here, always has been for a long time. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just hate to get us to a point where we can't hire the small like people to do little jobs mm -hmm. like yeah. this when we have the opportunity. No, I don't know. Yeah. 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 And I think you know part of it, if, if, if you know the, if we, you know, we know that there's a possibility of being fined, but it's a percentage of the amount. But even with the so waiver, that's what I'm not understanding, is if they get a signed waiver, well, why the waiver, would... the waiver should cover it. Right. Because yeah. I understand if you did it without a waiver, would you get fined? If we do it with a waiver, would you get fined? Who knows these days? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, really? All these new regulations are flying uh, in here. Uh, it's a town. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, we can find yeah. those guys because they're going to pay. Uh, yeah. We just don't know. It's it really is. It's a crap yeah, shoot. I think we yeah. should be okay with this. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's a done deal anyway. I guess it's a done forward. Yep. Right. Mm -hmm. And it looks good. He did some additional caulking and stuff on some of the yeah. window sills out here that were. When I saw it, first thought was Adam. Okay. Yeah, he's mm -hmm. been questionable off and on around town. He seems like he's trying to get himself back I together. That's right. And yeah. I didn't ask you because I knew that yeah. personal thing mm -hmm. from the prior. Experience. <laughs> I left you out of it. <laughs> yeah. No. So, any other town clerk news or business? Uh, no. The end of the year was pretty quiet. I got everything caught up. We have new rules regarding vital records, which are just crazy. Mm -hmm. The health department is very, very concerned, and the legislature, I guess, about identity theft so we can no longer give a certified copy of a death certificate or a birth certificate without going through this new process they have set up sure that everybody's struggling with that record right perfect yeah they have to put they have to fill out a long application now and we have to go into the state system to get approval for printing out a certified copy 
That kind of makes sense in today's world. Mm -hmm. Probably. Just exactly. we were but still, yeah. people, well, people can come in here and make any copies they want of the records that we have. Right, we don't, records. but it won't be certified with a stamp and on a fancy right. paper. Because they can photocopy anything, and you can right. give it to all public record. Yeah. Right. Wow. Yeah. So it seems like kind of a moot point if they can just. Yeah, but they wouldn't have a certified. <laughs> yeah. Version. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Be a Which yeah. The average person would know, but a lawyer. Right. Um, a lawyer. Yeah. Yeah. Needs to know. Yeah. 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 Know. If, if you need to go, you're. Yeah. Right. <laughs> You need to get a like, your I mean, I driver's license or something. Last summer I went shopping in Walmart in Texas and bought some stuff when I was here. So apparently, oh, really? Yeah, oh. So I, said, I just got an email like, are you in Texas from the big buying stuff in Walmart? I'm like, nope. Credit union's good we about that, aren't We turned off your credit they? card. So well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're apparently in uh, Texas at a Walmart shopping. Oh, fun. Okay. Yeah. Probably a super Walmart, too. Could have been. Oh. Could have been. Yeah. Wow. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. The stuff they can do to scam yeah. you. Yeah. So, let's move on. So nothing to do with the store, sounds like. Oh, uh, no. Except on, for, Diana. well, okay, there's, we're starting, starting something. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> A few weeks ago, on one of my regular emails to Lauren Oates, if you have anything for us yet, she mentioned maybe it's time to ask for some upper level help. So then a week or so ago I said, and I emailed back, I said, should that originate from you or from, from us? And she didn't respond. So for all I know, she could be on vacation, but usually they're pretty good about their emails sitting out. So today I contacted two of our local legislators just to ask them <coughs> what was the best way to approach our people in Washington. And uh, they both jumped right on it and had some. Now I'm writing up a, a more detailed analysis, you know, another progress report of what we've done and how much has been spent and all that. And how so, long have we been waiting? Yes, yeah. So we just can't go in there and start removing. No, we don't have property. property. Yeah. Oh, that's right. And yeah. they, and you know, and Kurt keeps every time I have to email him, he comes to just go out and get some financing. That's not the point. Mm -hmm. We could get the financing. We could have bought the building five years ago, but we didn't choose right. to go that Try way. And and FEMA can pull all our approvals, which we don't have much, but we we're hoping to get one. <laughs> they won't approve it if we start without, right. without, without their approval. I I don't think they. This have has been a, quite a long. Process. <laughs> well, it was it was March of 2015. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That we at that town meeting when the voters approved the uh, participation in the project. So it's been four years. And we started, and we started the few yeah. months before that talking about it and meeting. Well, with, yeah, your oh, thing yes, triggered yeah. the whole thing. I was thing. thinking about so. that the other day. <laughs> the year Monty got off. Mm -hmm. You told me in the back of the room that night. Yes. Yeah, we're going to stop doing enforcement. We're going to go with, because we've been dealing with Kirk, and we figure we can make this happen a lot faster. Mm -hmm. And here we are five years later. FEMA. Yeah. FEMA. FEMA. Hmm. Anything with FEMA attached yeah. to it. Yeah, let's think about that. Too. It's been five years. We, when we looked at all, when Michael and I met with mm -hmm. some, some other state agencies and looked at other programs like the community development program, and that was competitive, so that, you know, that this... FEMA, they told us at the time, was probably a sure thing. So, <laughs> yeah. so there's absolutely so we nothing we can do over there now. We can't. We don't no, no I still think nothing. you should fill that hole because the site's going to have to be stabilized before that contractor can come in. Well, well, there's so, some material there to fill the hole. I see with that. Now. Mm -hmm. I saw that. We could have like a bucket brigade and move those stones over. Part from the time the where they <laughs> yeah, scoop it up, dump it in there. Yeah. 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 It's good bony material. Good bony no. stuff, yeah. Yeah, I <laughs> yeah. could run over and put it in the hole if it wanted, but no yeah. point in it at this point until they get a little closer. Maybe mm. if we could get them to let us dig the lower section of that brook out from 14 down to the mm -hmm. intersection and let mm -hmm. the water flow. And, mm -hmm. But yeah, it's like, man, yeah. could we just go over there some night and knock that place down? You, you looked in. The oh, floors yeah. are. Importing yeah. now. Yeah, I don't know how they're going to get in there to do that. Uh, 
They're not. Asbestos, They're not. asbestos, renovate, re, asbestos I mean, remediation. Well, no, they, they could do it. I mean, I'm seeing guys jump from one room to another. You know? <laughs> the floors are leaving, though. They're going to huh? be jumping from one yeah. room to the basement. <laughs> <laughs> they yeah, got to put some boards down. Yeah, yeah so. that's getting But our, our contractor is being patient. I, You know, I update him every couple of weeks and mm -hmm. tell him nothing. <laughs> but we still... So, so I guess, he hasn't I guess um, you know, getting our Washington representatives, it seems like a... Arbram suggested probably not to bother Bernie, but... Right. <laughs> he said that uh, one of Peter Welch's... Well, Peter and... Peter, Peter's... Peter's... Um, I forget her title, but recently she... Re Re Rebecca Ellis resigned her job at ANR mm -hmm. to go work for Peter, so... Mm -hmm. I would have thought that would be a good place to start. Okay. She knows some of the. Okay. Yeah, because we're just go. afraid at this point we'll be here in five years well, saying they, the same thing. They, they right. us that, oh, they're in a hurry. They'd like to get this finished, and it's like. Oh, I know. It was like <laughs> months and months ago. She told us. Lauren told us that they you know, they really wanted to get this done because it was the end of their Irene money. Right. But, you know, I'm sure FEMA has other things to deal with too. <laughs> but the Boston office, you know, there hasn't been any right. any emergencies in district right this district for a while. No earthquakes or you know, floods to speak of. We we'll probably have our latest flooding issue up on the Cabot Road fixed long before. Yeah. Well, we'll see. That's yeah. another old one. Yeah. Mm. Another dealing with the bureaucracy. But yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So if we had the money, we still couldn't do it without authorization. Right. You could, you could do it, but you wouldn't get any money. You wouldn't get, you wouldn't get any money for all of it. Yeah, and we don't really have, you know, yeah. it, was, it was just, you know, five years ago we had paid fifty thousand dollars, bought the building, and Tore worked it away it, but we couldn't do it because there was too much animosity. Right, and plus, too many we, people know, we would have still had to have dealt with all of the would have contamination had to, issues. Yeah, yeah. You would have just had to do asbestos testing, and then, you know, it would have been easier. Yeah. It's just. Could have yeah. left the oil in the ground. <laughs> well, they probably would have. The state process is a lot simpler. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just. It's, mm -hmm. The feds, like I tell you, we put our antenna, mm -hmm. just putting an antenna, I had to hire Indian burial ground. I mean, mm -hmm. they just get into stuff that. Yeah. yeah, they had to hire an archaeologist for that oh, yes, town they, forest the town thing. Forest. That's my point. Like they just bring yeah. in all this stuff that <laughs> just costs money and yeah. takes time. Fortunately, yeah. they didn't find the barn to be a historic structure, thank goodness. Mm. There's always a attachment, is what we mm -hmm. say. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of shy away yeah. from feeling the money myself. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So that happens yeah, if that place implodes in the meantime while we're waiting and just kind of falls into the basement. Well, we'd have to well, then we're going to have to get more money because then the asbestos abatement would cost even more because it'll, the whole thing would have to go in the right. hazardous waste dumpster. Right. And that may that be the case anyway. Uh, if it were, if what I was told um, a while ago is that it, you know if the thing does sort of collapse and there's stuff falling into the stream and then the state will get involved. And if, if, if we you know if the town doesn't own it, then it's probably up to the property owner to have to deal with it. No. Yeah, if there's stuff getting into the brook, it probably would. Once things start traveling to, yeah. beyond the property line, then. Mm -hmm. then uh, it's wow. Well, might sign well what they do with the uh, vermiculite is they just go in and wet it all down, mm -hmm. and then they scoop it up. Right. And so hopefully it won't. It won't, you can take a peek uh, in the past. windows. You can see down into the basement now. See, yeah. Some of the walls are there, but the floors are gone under. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I don't know where the is the that from the is. flooding in the end of May, you think? Or? The roof's leaking, so the water getting in. Yeah, yeah, it's just a constant. Well, I think the first big flood we had this in May was, it probably was water was coming out. The yeah. water was coming right out of the building. Yeah, yeah. yeah. water shooting through it again. Yeah, the floors are. Yeah. Well, let's yeah, it's in really tough shape in there. That's. It's I can't envision it making another either. winter. <laughs> no, no. So I've started drafting a more complete report. Okay. Tomorrow I'll hear what Dave Yacobone has to suggest. Okay. Because yeah, yeah. he called us today as soon as I sent him an email. He called and said, you have a grant number? I don't even have a grant number. It's an application number. <laughs> I right. need to give him D just to. Have you let Lauren know that, that you're... Doing this, Lauren, no. Lauren, no. No. She's 
she may be back from vacation. Or something. No, I don't know if she was on vacation. Yeah. I don't think she was. But She's I think the here. fact that she didn't yeah. respond to my request, I think, indicated that mm -hmm. it wasn't her job to do that. Right. Yeah. Even though she kind of suggested it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Thank you. So the last thing on our I agenda is mine, so we'll have, okay. we'll the conflict of interest <laughs> policy. Okay. Um, Do you want a copy? I've already read it. Okay. Yeah. You know, we just and rereading it, I know. Um, you know, it does. I know one of the one of the questions that you had, Paul, was that there's no, you know, recourse for enforcement. Um, and I, I don't think you can put that in the policy anyway. No. That's just legally what it is. It's legally what it is, and I think you know it, it, what they have in here. For enforcement is, to my knowledge, is what what we can do. Um, I mean, there. Yes, I did. That's yeah. I just raised an issue because it's like because we're all elected positions. Mm -hmm. There's nothing right. you can't. Not, one of us can't tell the other what to do. It's yeah. right. nothing. There's no censure. There's no right. But technically, no, yeah. The voters the, have to. The deal select with board. That. We don't have. We can't really. We don't really have any control well, over all of these like, elected positions yeah. right here. There's no control yep. over the other. Yeah. Yep. Whereas with the appointed ones, we do, with the Correct. exception of. The zoning administrator, people on the zoning board. Because they're trying to keep system. partisanship out right. of it. Someone right. says, you, didn't, you didn't give me my permit, yeah. so yeah. I'm going to get rid of it. So um, there's just, you know, suggested things that we can try to do, but if the elected official is unwilling, then the only thing that can happen is the next, you know, yeah, next you can try to get them voted out of the next meeting, but they might vote them right back in again. Right, right. yeah. yeah. So there's some towns that have It's happened before. That. Yeah. 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 And Laura found some more wording um, that this actually is, it's not a VLCT suggestion, it actually is in state statute. Um, oh, really? Yeah. And what, um, by us um, enacting a conflict of interest policy, um, it, it allows, there's two routes that that can happen, from my understanding, reading the state statute, which I stuck somewhere here. Um, it's like I left half one of my stacks of paper at home. Yeah, it either, <laughs> it either happens at town meeting where everybody approves the conflict of interest policy or as a, effective of, as of July 1st of this year, um, if a uh, municipal body, if there's already a conflict of interest policy in place um, by the municipal body, then it doesn't have to be something that gets uh, discussed and voted on town meeting. So it's just a way of simplifying. Um, yeah. Um, how this gets put in place. But here's the stuff that Laura found for us. So you're saying we have to put it before the voters now? We don't. We, do. we, we did right. before, um, according to... The, so we've already done this with the voters? We haven't, no. No, haven't. No. No. And the this, way that it looked to me, I thought it made it look sound like you had to call well, the Let me say anything. Yeah, to say, let me find... And I look, I've got the state statute here, too. Um, so you'll notice that it, that it says... Um, before, where's the section here? Uh, enforcement. Uh, here's the part that. Oh, this is different from the one that you have, Paul. Um, so you'll notice on yours it says before. Um, effective until July 1st, 2019. This section 1984. Right, so what it tells you then it says. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then after, there's a small change in the after um, July 1st, 2019. Um, so here's. Uh, I was reading it before the meeting. Yeah, so 1984, this is, of course, this is the old state statute. Town, city, or incorporated village by a majority vote of those present and voting at an annual or special meeting warned for that purpose may adopt a conflict of interest prohibition for its elected and appointed officials which shall contain. And the, you know, gives, and that's pretty much what you have in front of you right, right. now. Um, it doesn't look like we can adopt this because it keeps talking about the, the election of this town body. Well, that, read the. Um, and the trying to it refers to um, subsection. Uh, it, says, it says effective July 1st, 2019. See also 1984 effective until July 1st, which mm -hmm. is. 
Right. So and then, this and then one sends you down. In so. the new statute, it refers to um, uh, another piece of state statute um, under 2291, Part 20, um, which gives. A, this is a municipal regulatory, miscellaneous regulatory powers of the select board. Um, I think, let me get back to the beginning here, make sure that's true. Yeah, it's a removal of junk vehicles, we should probably look into that. Um, I'll bring some more. Time of hearing. So where is the beginning of this chapter? Okay. Solid waste. So these are basically so like the upper one is effective until to it's until July first, twenty nineteen. Yeah. And then the second the one bottom one is effective after after, which says each town, city, and incorporated village yeah. by majority vote of those present and voting at an annual or special meeting warned for that purpose shall adopt a conflict of interest prohibition for it for its elected and appointed officials, mm -hmm. which shall contain yada yada yada. We'd have to do this at the next town meeting. We've got to do it at town meeting because I think what it, I well, think the purpose. Well, maybe I'm. But it seems like the purpose is that the town voters are the ones that decide right. what's a conflict for us. Yeah, not yeah. we're because we're not, not regulating us. ourselves. Then. Right. So in in, so the, in like. this in the new statute, um, conflict of interest does not arise in the case of votes or decisions. On, oh, um, okay. Um, but the first section tells you where how it how it's adopted. Okay. That's the issue I'm seeing. The requirements set oh, forth yeah. in subdivision one, which is um, that it be voted at a town meeting. So okay, the requirements set forth in subdivision one of the subsections shall not apply if pursuant to the provisions of 2291, section 20 of this title, which I can read to you next. You miss, you know, you miss, you municipality has established a conflict of interest policy that is in substantial compliance with subdivision one. So if we establish a policy, and I could, I guess I should probably clarify this with the LCP. Probably should. Yeah. I think so. But the 22, there's, you know. I get what you're saying. Yeah, we have the authority to make it as long as it's in. Yeah. We, may, we should ask them. Yeah, Not I to will. be fussy, but it, that no, way maybe they don't they do they something send that's send legal. to us what? Yeah. We need. Or, or say yes, you yeah. can do this, or no, you yeah. should not do this. Because the part is that they say it's supposed to be in place by the July first, so do they right. want you to have a meeting? That's well, what I don't. That would be a good right. question for the lawyers at league. Yeah. So I'll call VLCP and clear. Because if we adopted it inappropriately, it would have no effect. Right. It, yeah. it would be it would be right. like non-valid. So. Yeah. Get the process down. And yeah. Because I think the policy you're showing me is compliant. It just yeah. Who, who it gets compliant. to adopt it is the issue. Yeah. So I understand if you were to have the town voters do it, the town voters are the one then setting what they feel is yeah. conflict. a conflict. And we yeah. could we could we could go that route too, just to yeah. uh, or ask, you know. I, I, but I'll I'll check with the L C T in this um, the chapter that it refers to in, in the new uh, wording um, is a new variation of miscellaneous regulatory powers and um, and it does give the um, select board or the municipal body the uh, power to establish a contract of interest policy to apply to all elected and appointed officials. So, okay. Um, so yeah, I will. I'll we can clarify look at it again. That. Just ask. I hate to do it, but I'll ask the question. No, yeah. there's no rush to do no, that. It's kind of weird because we're setting a policy that affects us, us right? Along right. with everybody else if we, that's elected. If we sit down. No, we don't want to do that because we want to be inappropriate. Yeah. Right. Want, for yeah. example. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, yeah. Okay, so I will the check with Fox's garden, the chicken, chicken house. house. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, the whole way you elect town officials always lends itself to that. There's really no, I don't think people really understand that an elected town official is just that. There is no censure, there is no, yeah. they can go to jail, they're still elected. Yeah. yeah. In fact, there are some, there was a select board member over in it's happened. Franklin County somewhere that was yeah, busted yeah. for drugs and oh, yeah. in jail, but yeah, unless the county gets yeah. rid of them, yeah. the voters you'd have yeah. to warn a special meeting to get rid of them. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Well, okay. you had a flatbed or you had a shop or some, something, yeah, yeah business yeah. over yeah, there. Right. But yeah, was, I'll try to clarify this. Yeah. So, so most people would, you know, 
you know, have themselves removed and say, I, I get yeah. done. But if they don't, there's really nothing you can do about yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. 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 Even, I think our state represents the same way. The whole body, I'm not really sure what process they have a whole body to get rid of something. Yeah. Remember the guy that got accused of inappropriate yep. stuff and they could censure, they think they eventually got rid of it, but it wasn't a simple process. No, yeah. nothing simple with that. No. It's an elected official. So. Yeah. yeah. So that's it on our agenda. Anything okay. else that. Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.